and we are live 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 for sure this time confirm live dead air episode 27 hantu hq singapore <laughs> you you hear that uh? that's like something very familiar yeah <laughs> well hi by the way in case you all have forgotten since last month wayne kyle and our very 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 special guest yeah. That hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the Adams family hand. That's it. Um, we we've been teasing this for a little while. We've been people have been asking for this since the very, very start of Dead Air. But our guest tonight, um, on this our first live episode in how long? Quite a while, right? Wow, I think it's at least months. yeah, not few months. I think almost a year. Close to a year. Yeah. Mm. Oh, don't you feel so? Don't you feel I'm so? On it, I'm yeah. On it. Um, our first guest for this live edition, our only guest for this live edition, yeah. is the collector, the one and only, the <laughs> one and only collector. Um, collector, wave, 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 wave to, to the, fans. the fans. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm glad to be here. I, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to give an intro, um, but considering the fact that most people have been asking for this since the start of the air, it's not necessary. But I had to write the intro anyway for consistency's mm. sake. The collector is the collector from <laughs> Ghost <Maps. laughs> All right. So much information. Wait, 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 wait. There's more. All right. He's been the main voice of the series since its very beginning in 2019. Mm. I like how I have to read this. I wrote this. Um, in that time, he's helped to shape the podcast into what it is today. Yeah, see, see, we're nice. Right. Um, he's been told he sounds very soothing by many people. Mm -hmm. And he has been told by even more people that he sounds like either myself or Kyle. Yes. This is very far-fetched. Yes. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I think Wayne maybe probably, but yes. me. Yeah, so so I'm, I'm quite sure there are going to be people in the audience who are going, oh, you just got some random head <laughs> and then pre-recorded Wayne's voice. He's <laughs> live, okay, it's, guys. No, no, no. But like, you know, we could have like planned all this. So I'm AI. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is something that no creators want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, uh, bringing the mood mm, down yeah, right no. at the start of the episode. No, but the funny thing I want to say is that there was actually an episode where Wayne was also um, part of the voice, uh, you know, narrating it. Yes. And then you started that episode. It was one of our special episodes. Yes. And I listened to it and I was like, I don't remember saying that. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, as in like, I concur, as in I think I sound like Wayne as well, or Wayne sounds like me, either way. I don't agree. <laughs> I think we sound very different. I don't know. I don't know. No, maybe when you try to put on, you know, the when, ghost maps. When I try voice to put on well. the ghost maps voice, <laughs> I swear we're completely different people. Ghost, Echo, the Echo. ghost maps voice. Why is the ghost maps voice? Do the ghost maps voice. Wait, why would you say now? <laughs> you just put me on the road. I, I always get a script. Oh. <laughs> All uh, I can say is that we're starting from the beginning. Hey. Oh. Well done. It's a hundred episodes. It is. Really it has been a hundred episodes. Yeah. Um, yeah. How are you feeling about that, by the way? Not fantastic. Uh, I haven't heard it. Yet. <clears throat> <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> hey, I was there when he was, well, was I'm trying to defend you. <laughs> I, you know, he's glaring at you. I'm trying to defend. Like he's so busy working on Ghost Maps, right? Like he don't even have time to listen to his own work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I definitely will good. listen to it. I mean, I, I play Ghost Maps in the background uh, as well, every now and then. In the background? Yeah, yeah. Like when I'm working. Know, man, you got to like sit on there and listen to every episode like five <laughs> times at least when it comes out. <laughs> That's our secret to our numbers, actually. <laughs> it's just us. We just play. We play. We, we've added a total of 15 views for every episode. Yeah, no, we've bought 10 computers. <laughs> multiple, multiple Spotify accounts just playing. Uh, um, so... How does it feel sitting in this chair as opposed to the recording chair normally? Uh, yeah, this is definitely less comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> in the recording studio, the chair is much nicer. But uh, no, it feels great. I think, uh, and I'm a big fan of uh, Dead Air as well. Uh, it's 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 very different from what we yes. do, right? And um, it's fun. So I'm definitely honored to be here, honored to talk to you know our fans that that listen to us and listen to me, um, you know, uh, and it's it's great. You know, finally having a way to connect with you guys, uh, to answer any of your questions if you're asking uh, any of them live. Um, and yeah, it's definitely very, very interesting. It's been one hell of a journey. Mm. Four years, now five years this year. I'm glad also to be the first guest of 2024. Oh, Happy yeah. New Year to everybody. Happy uh, New Year. Happy listening. New Year. So 
it's been great. I think uh, it's been a blessing being part of this journey. Uh, I love telling ghost stories. Uh, I don't know many of you know, but actually some episodes are actually ghost stories from me. Don't, don't, but... say, which ones. don't say which ones. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, yeah. you know, actually I told Wayne those stories myself. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So it's been great. I love it. Yeah. Didn't, didn't say yeah. anything about working with us, but fine. <laughs> no, no, a, no, 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 no. There's we... a few comments. Uh. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna address some comments. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is not because there's some there one there's one particular comment for me, but I I, I I'm gonna go through. So to be <laughs> fair, right, right? Okay, so uh Night Angel 104 says, uh mm. damn, didn't miss the start. Have to watch later. It's like, actually, you didn't miss much. Huh? Yeah, it's just, yeah. just me saying it's not life. Huh? For, for the first time in many, many... It, 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 it is life. It is life. It is life. Yeah. Uh, for the first time in long... And I just went back to check, by the way. Like, the last time we were live is November 2022. So, oh, wow. More than a year. year. Yeah. The whole more, year of 2023. Yeah, didn't go yeah we yeah. didn't we didn't go live. So, yeah, I think uh, that's nice. Mm. Uh, Jolene says... Good evening, Hantu Boys and the Collector. All right. Good evening, Jolie. And uh, Nadia say, Carl, nice hair. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> I built that all for that. Just for that one comment. No, I'm just kidding. I, I never get nice hair comments. <laughs> oh, to, to be fair, I did get a lot of comments about my beard last time. Mm. Yeah. yeah so, oh, yeah. You shaved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Should have kept the beard. La. Maybe you get a comment for your beard. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, there is definitely going to be ghost stories. Mm. Um then when he tells the ghost stories, you will realize there is a certain episode of Ghost Maps. Yes. I wonder if any of you can tell or not. Because mm. like that, that it's quite particular. I yeah. would say that that story, the two stories that we used, they were quite particular. Have we used two of his stories? Was it, really? two? Was it two? No, no. We I, I think we've used one. one. Yeah. Um. You one did one. give us another one. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. No, actually we were write, we were writing that. Yeah. yeah, yeah anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um. I I. Any more comments before we... Oh, yeah. Well, one one for win. <laughs> Hi, guys. Enjoy the podcast and shows by Red Spiker 84 And uh, he says, or she says, or they say, Beards for Life. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> the, way you, the way you were laughing, I knew it wasn't good. Yeah. Hey, Beards for Life. No, no that's fair. That's fair. I mean, that's fair. No, you guys can't see, but I, I have a beard as well. Don't that's review it. too much about this stuff. <laughs> okay. Stop the that's, time. That's... A bit. Wow, a, a guy with a beard. It's <laughs> a lot of details. Don't tell people you're a guy. <laughs> oh, wow. That was not obvious. <laughs> hey, you never know, man. That's true. Um, okay, let us actually start mm, from, from the, the beginning. beginning. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> love it. How? I mean, we know this obviously. Yeah, yeah. But how did you become the collector? Oh wow, this is this goes way back. Um, should I talk about how I met? Kyle, I think you, uh, uh, yeah, like TLDR, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give them TLDR. the TLDR, like. okay. give them the So TLDR. I, I know Kyle when I was still a teenager. I think we were like eighteen yeah, at the as, time. As was I. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> we were the same age, and uh, Kyle was actually uh, doing a short film, which I was a part of. I think yeah, that's yeah. that's as much as I would say. And um, then we reconnected uh, a few years later. Yeah. Right, and then he just asked me, "Hey, do you want to tell ghost stories?" Right, and then I'm like. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you know, I love ghost stories. I mean, I'm a horror buff as well. So, um, if anybody's interested, like I almost exclusively watch only horror movies with me and my partner. So, me and my girlfriend, the only thing we watch are horror movies. That's it. Like, we don't watch any comedy, ac- action, nothing. It's only horror. Oh, so just the two of y'all. When yeah, y'all watch- when we okay. watch movies, it's, it's only horror thing, movies. La. It's yeah. our thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, the problem is you run out of horror movies, it's not that many. And then you go into watching like the not so good ones just because it's a horror movie, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm a big horror buff myself. Mm. So of course I jumped onto the opportunity. Mm. And um between that conversation to when actually Ghost Map started was also about two, three years. Was yeah. It? Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Kyle reached out to me a few years even before Ghost we decided Map. to go ahead. Oh wow. Yeah. So it's, it was a long actually... time in the making. Yeah. Yeah. And um I mean uh it, it's I'm glad it happened. I'm glad you didn't choose anybody else. <laughs> Hundred episodes later. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, Wayne always says he's gonna find me and I'm gonna write my death in. So <laughs> you know. every time I'm, I get a script, I'm just worried. I'm like, is no, this the episode if, I'm gonna if, die? If, if the collector <laughs> dies, right? You blame Wayne. Uh. Don't blame <laughs> me. Uh. I'm okay. I'm not gonna do I'm I'm gonna try not to derail this episode because like there are quite a number of comments about it, but I feel I need to defend myself. Here. Okay, right, right. <laughs> okay. 
the reason why I constantly threaten... <laughs> no, I will address y'all because he knows this. The reason why I constantly threaten to kill the collector <laughs> is because there was one recording session we had. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, Tiger Beer, of course. Yeah. And there was one recording session we had. And I refuse to look you in the eye while I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, story. my God. I know. That's, that's how, how angry I still am. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Our, our dear collector brought over this box of what looked like beautiful cupcakes. Yeah. Like, they look incredibly delicious. He opened the box and let us take a look at it. We were like, oh my God, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, like, you know, I, I knew this working relationship was great. <laughs> you know? And then he, the plot twist came in. Like every good horror story, there was a mm. plot twist. The plot twist came in. The cupcakes weren't for us. <laughs> he goes on and on for five minutes prior to this, right? Telling us what wonderful cupcakes they are. They're so delicious. Some of the best cupcakes he's ever tasted. Mm. They weren't for us. They were for somebody else. Yeah. yeah. He broke Bad. our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I know about Carl. Carl, Carl, you know, he 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 stoic and everything. Yeah. You broke my heart. Right. <laughs> Ever since then, I've threatened to kill the collector <laughs> in every episode. Yeah. So you I'm guys just, know yeah. uh, if the collector dies, it's over cupcakes. But I, yeah. I, I have to defend Wayne in a sense that they really look really good. Uh. They I'm not I'm, I'm not a sugar person, <laughs> but like did, what did you just say? They were great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, uh. Oh god! Just buy the damn cupcakes yourself. You wanted to actually <laughs> it's, to spite you today. It's, it's not. It's not the. It's not the point. I can buy the cupcakes at any time. It's the way you tease us and let us down. It is really like like major tease because he still opened it, <laughs> and then he's like, "Look, look, look, look." So, so if y'all want to know, right? And I like, needed help to retie the thing. <laughs> yeah. He 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 he. The the collector collects all these ghost stories and everything. He charts all of this, but the real monster <laughs> is the collector himself. Not the little girl, but the no, cup, no, no. The, the guy who cock blocks you from the cupcakes. <laughs> that's the real monster. <laughs> so yes, that's why I threatened to kill you every episode. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Calm down. So <laughs> your wife says, My my handsome husband, don't be jealous because his barber had to cancel today. <laughs> Wait, you had a haircut today. I was supposed to have a haircut today. Oh, okay. I was gonna cut my hair just for you. Cut what? <laughs> <laughs> so, really, so the collector is going to die in episode 102 no this is just a testament of how close we are yes. to colleagues yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> colleagues is five, a bit I mean yeah, yeah, fine. It's five years too formal well, we are colleagues yeah, but yeah. Like five years is when you put it out right like yeah. in, in years it's like it's been so long it's uh. been long yeah. if, if, it feels more like two and a half two, yeah. in mm. my mind it's like two and a half yeah yeah yeah, I, but it's a blur. Uh. I always I always talk to Carl about this and I say like, you know, my probably at, by this point, my longest or certainly one of my longest lasting creative partnerships is with him. Mm. But that's it. By default, that means that you're one of my longest lasting creative <laughs> partnerships as well. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, last I mean, I would say it's exactly the same for me. Yeah. Every and, other creative partnership I had was maybe only lasted like a year and a half. Yeah. Probably. Um, you know, and for all the threats, I have not killed you yet. Yes. <laughs> I no, but even if you did, I'll just bring cupcakes and then I'll be really, really <laughs> they, they pull a comic book. Right? The guy revived from, we yeah. brought in a, a collector from like the parallel universe. No, just like the twin, the twin brother. The, <laughs> the, the twin brother. I, I am the acquirer <laughs> yeah. of ghost stories and cupcakes. There's this guy who's like, his name is like, their name is YouTube user, right? Yeah. Will Hello, there be a live action ghost maps? Ooh. What? What I, it's up to you. <laughs> no, I, I mean, have no a control team, of this. It's a team effort. So yeah. what, what do no, I mean like a second. Uh, like a live retelling of No 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 I don't know, as in like a, a live action. Yeah, like a movie like or like a movie. Uh, right. Do you think TV series? will happen? Will it happen? It could happen. I'm sure it could happen. No, no, no. But like, you know. What, Am what, I interested in it? Are you interested? 100%. What are your hopes? Yeah. What I'll play myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we kind of figured your role yeah. is already cast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll do it for sure. Yeah. Who, who would be the aside from Kyle obviously who would be the director you want to work with no Blue, Blue Sky it's okay I James Wan oh. okay. if you're watching James Wan if you're like the, the one of the 18 <laughs> 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 yeah. 18 live we, we still 18 have live viewers <laughs> yes or one of the 4,000 4, subscribers uh, 
on our YouTube. Uh, let us know. Uh, we I, would love to work with I you. I am sure, Cal, uh, I'm sure James Lai. Uh, James Lai. James, James Lai. 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 <laughs> we are men. <laughs> <laughs> I am sure James Wan is one of the 4,000 subscribers. Yeah, sure. Here. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I think... Okay, I can't say much about the interactions I have because I'm in the film industry. So people know that Ghost Maps uh, is around. Hmm. Uh, yeah. We have a sizable audience in, in audio form, format as well. Amongst uh, the living and, yeah, and the, the unliving. But there has been discussions with other people to actually adapt Ghost Maps. Yeah. But nothing big has come out of it. But there are discussions here and there. Hmm. Uh, it's easy to say, oh, I want to make like this uh, podcast into live action. But you know, making a film is much, much harder than yeah, a podcast. A it's insane amount of work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think, I'm not saying it's a no. I'm saying uh, maybe the time is not right. Maybe in a couple of years. Maybe James Wan finally, you know, like he decides to go beyond episode one. Then <laughs> go, go get him made. Yeah, yeah definitely. We yeah, on. That's, that's what's holding him back. He hasn't finished the series yet. That's true. That's true. That's true. It's 100 episodes. It's 100 it's, 100 it takes a while. Well, yeah. we, we've got comp- compilation episodes as well. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but you guys got to help us out. Everybody listening and tuning in right now, you got to be sharing Ghost Maps as well for us to, you know, each achieve even more success and more viewership. And then maybe James Wan might actually stumble upon it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So th- yeah. this is why he does the announcements as well. Yes. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm the sales guy. <laughs> he, he, has a, he, has a, he has a collector voice and he has a collector sales voice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's it's the one you hear at the end of every episode. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to us on Patreon. <laughs> Very good segue. Very good segue for this. Yeah. So, okay. What was it like? More than, it was clearly more than four or five years ago that you talked to Carl about this. Mm. Eventually it happened. Mm. Um, how did when you started recording? How did you settle on that voice, the collector's voice? Mm. I mean, Carl's a very good director, uh, yeah, so yeah, I think thanks. he definitely had a vision of uh, you know how we want to do storytelling, not just the voice, but how the stories are told. Yeah, mm. you know, and um, there's, there's there are many uh, you know ways to tell horror, uh, horror stories, ghost stories. Mm. There's the you know sit by the campfire style and. It's very dramatic and stuff like that. But that's Mm. not what we want to go for, right? So Mm. uh, Carl had a very clear vision of what he wanted Mm. and he was able to explain it to me well enough. And then Mm. I think we just got there quite quickly, actually. Yeah, Yeah, I think by episode seven, the the voice was set. Yeah, quite solid by then. Yeah, I mean, uh, episode zero to like seven, there were a few kings that like pacing, Mm. speed. Yeah, It's also the editing. We're feeling each other out uh, in terms of our creative styles. Mm. merging it together because it's a it's a combined voice it's the writing the directing and as well as the acting mm. so I think yeah it took a while but I think we were quite fast seven yeah. seven episodes and at that point we didn't do twice a week eh, twice a month we did we once, once a month, once a month. Yeah. so seven yeah. months yeah. La. Uh, but the recording were Nicely quite done. Yeah. seven months <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I, I, I remember like uh, texting the collector like hey you want to do this then he was like oh yeah 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 you told me about it a couple of years ago let's do it then Immediately, I sent him the script because mm. I told Wayne, I know a guy. I said, like, <laughs> I know a guy. Then yeah. Wayne's like, okay. Then I sent him the script. Then I was like, can you like narrate it to this music? And then he played the music while narrating ah, it. Yes, then, yes. And he just like, yeah, right? Yeah, then yeah, he just yeah. like, he sent it back within like half an hour. I was like, yeah, yeah. This, I think I just did it on my phone, no? Yeah. I was yeah. like, this is perfect. Let's go. And then we straight away arranged for a recording uh, in the uh, studio mm. space. Mm. So and but then, a lot of strange. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we used to be across the island uh, recording. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think we're all happier here. Yeah, just because it's 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 a little bit you know less travels. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> um, it used yeah. to take an hour for me to just go record goes my own. God, yeah, you. But the studio was haunted, right? You know that, really. I told you, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yes, 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 upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, upstairs was no, 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 no. You were there when this happened. Of of course, you were there. We were recording. I vaguely remember. No, you were in the recording recording booth, yeah. but the light dimmed down on our end. Uh, yeah, yeah, so you didn't yeah, see yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. but we From saw it outside, happen like yeah. live. They was like, oh mm-hmm. my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So 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 we we, we got that. Um, well, we got the mood, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the, 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 and 
the people who work there, they say, oh, it's a ghost of an old man. I feel like it's the old man goes like, hey, what's tell ghost story? The light's so bright for what? Let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you tell me and then my current office is actually very nearby. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. But yes. it's not that building lah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Then, then, then you should. <laughs> no lah, maybe the old man was like in Morse code with the lights trying to say, good job, guys. <laughs> Wise choice with voice actor. I also, <laughs> this actually most I, I also listen. <laughs> Big fan. Tried to subscribe, but did. <laughs> wow. So in, in relation to your cupcakes thing, yeah. uh, Mr. Crocodile said that should have let the little girl win. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's that, Yeah, that, 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 I would die. La. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. What, what, okay, guys. What makes you think that he's, already, he's, not, he's not already dead? What makes you think that he's a human? Oh. Yeah, mm. something for you to think about. Like, That's true. what makes you think that all along, right? Like, he has been alive. Not, mm. not just the character, but the actual person. Who <laughs> <think about. laughs> oh, <Whoa. laughs> spookiest episode of Dead Air ever. That's why I'm just a hand. I'm literally just a hand. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, it's not a attached to anything. No, no mouth. <laughs> no, like, like maybe one lip and then one hand. <laughs> I was gonna say it's just the hand, but that's somehow that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> just like the lips moving out there. Oh, yeah. you know, like one of those like really weird cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> UTL Vlogs uh, says uh, nice to finally put a face to the voices and wow, the collectors. Mm. Uh, no, we put a hand to the yeah, the hand lah. Not, can't not face. you can't see his face lah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now you know the collector has lovely hands. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This, this, this. Uh, <laughs> Nadia. Yeah. Saying maybe James Lai gets cast to play Kyle on screen. <laughs> James Lai like a bit old, uh. <laughs> you know, old to be I mean, playing me. Uh. You've got a bit of an old soul, uh, so you know. Mm, that's very true. Yeah. The, it's not, it's not with the Kopitiam Tiger here. <laughs> <laughs> James O. Jones can play Wayne on screen. Oh, that's just mean. James uh. O. Jones is 90. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Darth Vader, right? I mean, okay lah. I, I, <laughs> honestly, right? If if you if you're gonna like go like, oh, Wayne's old, ha ha. Let's put James Earl Jones. I'm okay with that. Actually. <laughs> I'm actually quite okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally fine with that. That's it. It it might not be the insult that it was intended or thought to be. Yeah. So yeah. But the thing is, anybody could play me. That's true. Yeah. Because there's so, no face. So you know, be careful of those cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. You play the cupcakes. You play the cupcake <laughs> game, right? Uh, okay. Um. Okay, so when that that first when you when you first read the sample, was it from the first script? I honestly cannot remember. So I I, I, can't, asked, I can't remember. Go. But do you remember getting that first script? What do you think? What were your thoughts when you started uh, the story? Did okay because right now the process is I don't even know the script until I arrive. Yeah, yeah. Did we use? Did you used to send me the script beforehand, Carl? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, really? We did, we did, we did. We did. Oh. Oh, and 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 I stopped because I feel like you overthink it. That's yeah. true. That's true. He will read it and he's like, "Yeah, I, I, you, 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 you have some overthinking thoughts." I said, like, "Do you think I would do like well with this, <laughs> this?" They're like, "No, no, no, no. Maybe I don't send you any. Yeah, yeah. just just, yeah. Let, just let him read the first. Okay. By the way, this is a not really a trade secret right? It's a very intimate behind the scenes. By the way, we used to do two takes mm. up I until just to bring that up, actually. episode twenty five thirty, mm. and then the collector got so good at it, one take. We do yeah. one take, but uh, but we'll repeat certain lines, uh, like yeah. if we feel that it's, a, it's not well pronounced, then we'll do it again. But mostly it's one take. Yeah. So that's a proper talent right there. <laughs> I think recording one episode of Ghost Maps, I mean, one episode of Ghost Maps usually is about 15 minutes. Mm. It takes us only about what, 35, 40 minutes to finish one episode, just recording wise. Is it yeah. quite, quite quick? Our yeah. record was 20 minutes yeah. in one episode. Mm. so almost about the length of the episode mm. but that was a, about a 10 minute episode I remember Wayne wasn't around mm. and then we were amazed like, oh my god hey, so fast huh? fast huh? <laughs> okay bye <laughs> you know you didn't have to include it the Wayne wasn't around but I get it guys no <laughs> Wayne's very busy with this Wayne has manager now <laughs> Wayne, Wayne, Wayne has representation <laughs> um, no but like when you when you like start started to see what the story, what the mm. the show was going to be like. What were your thoughts about how we were shaping it up? Uh, no, I think it was very, very interesting. I mean, having the whole mysterious part of it was mm. something that um, 
I, I had two thoughts, definitely. One was like, I don't think I'm gonna ever gonna get credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> My name is not on any episode. <laughs> hey, we, we're crediting you right now, That's the true. collector. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I can't put it in my portfolio. <laughs> you can lah. Who say you cannot? <laughs> right? But at the same time, I thought, actually, this is very very interesting. You build up yeah. this person. And since every episode's, you know, about this collector, he's pretty much the only, you know, subject of the story. There's no other yeah. voices or anything like that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a pure, you know, uh, monologue narration kind of style. Yeah. So I thought, actually, yeah, you build up this suspense and which is what it has become, right? 100 mm. episodes later, yeah. people still don't know who I am. <laughs> and that's very interesting, you know? So I think it's really cool. And, you know, it, it adds a lot of mystery to both, um, you know, me as a person behind the scenes mm. and actually as the, the the character, the collector on who he could possibly be because then you have tons of imagination. You can, you know, you can try and, you know, project whatever imagination you have onto who this person is. Yeah. Is he an old person? Is he a young person? We still don't really know. We never really built that, you know, um, profile of sorts, yeah. you know, of who the collector is. And I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I, I must also say that we have also established that the collector is a generational thing. So yeah. there's, it's like Batman. There's like many, many different yeah. versions. Wait, when, I, when I heard of it, I didn't, I didn't think Batman. I thought Avatar. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why? No, the last Airbender Avatar, like oh, when he goes into the Avatar. Yeah, I thought you said no, not like, the blue Avatar. No, 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 the, the, the proper the, Avatar. Oh, okay, the proper. No, Avatar. it's not proper Avatar. Last Airbender is the proper, the proper Avatar. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Last oh Avatar, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, correct. Yeah. We're in agreement on that one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agree, so agree. he goes into the Avatar mode, and you yeah. have all the different yeah, Avatars yeah. before him. Yeah, not all, everything. Right? Yeah, correct. You're a bit of a weeb, aren't you? No, I, <laughs> I just like. Last Avenger, the mystique, right? man. No, what I, a weed. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I am also a weed, so I, I get it. Like, I get it. But like, Avatar, yeah, it's a, it's a good statement. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking more like, uh, shit. There was this uh supernatural show that I was trying, I was trying to reference Ghost mm. Maps. I, <laughs> no, I forgot. I, I forgot. I, I really lost my my own train of thoughts. Yeah. But when it comes back, I'll tell you. Mm. But okay. I think WSA asked a really good question, which yeah. we answered earlier, but, you know, anything for you, WSA. WSA is asking, can share how Wayne and Kyle decided our mysterious Mr. Narrator is the perfect person to cast? Simply because, uh, I don't reveal too much mm. about the narrator, the collector, right? But uh, I chose him because I think he's very easy to work with. Uh, yeah. And I think his background in music helps with his voice acting. So like musician, voice actor. So I think that 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 adds right really uh is hard to find because some actors they 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 can act, but the projection of the voice mm. is not there. Like the what was that thing that you con not diaphragm? diaphragm right? yeah. Your no, diaphragm but- control is yeah, it's hard. Well, I understand what you mean also because a lot of actors, uh, you know, body language is a very big thing. Mm. You know, you, you don't act with just your voice, yeah. right? Mm. So uh yeah, I, I think that that is actually a very interesting point. Because yeah. for, for musicians, you know, I'm used to being in a uh recording studio, mm. you know, and not every time I'm on stage, right? Yeah, so yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's that's one of the reasons. Uh. And I, I, I think I guess there's um the voice, uh, the voice. Yeah. <laughs> I, if I get go any more, right, you can find him easily. Uh. I'm not saying you can't find him, I'm saying you can find him easily. Yeah, he got radio background also. So <laughs> Just saying. Um, That's right. Our our narrator is Justin Timberlake. <laughs> <laughs> Triple threat. <laughs> yeah, so he's the guy that uh, is on social network. Yeah. I mean, just, just to like add to that also, I was gonna I was gonna I was gonna say that the first time I remember the first time we heard or I heard uh the recording that you get, mm. I can't remember which version it was. I don't remember there being music in the background, but again, like my memory not that great to begin with. Mm. But he let me listen to it. I went, yeah, that's the guy. Yeah. That's, that's, I, I don't know whether Kyle had other alternatives in mind, but, there was no open audition. Yeah. <laughs> but like, the moment I heard it, I was like, oh yeah, that, that's definitely the guy. I mean, things have like, altered a little bit over, not saying that we don't want you, mm. but like, the, the, the style in which you've approached things have altered a little bit, but the, I think the foundation of who the collector was, mm. even in that first, not even the first episode, but like the first recording that you did for us, I was like, yeah, that's that's him. Yeah, yeah. I no, I I agree. I, there there were other few selections, uh, 
But honestly, you always have one main choice. Yeah. The moment you choose, then you choose. Then the other reason, the other ones that you choose is just in case you don't want to work with me. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, la, maybe I got a second choice. Ah. Both pain. Ah. It's mm-hmm. just a way of things. Ah. Yeah. And honestly, it is a, a form of uh, uh, commitment because we record quite often. Yeah. yeah. And and we knew, I think, going in that this was going to be a very, very long oh, project. Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh my we god. Knew. I, I Honestly, I didn't expect it to. Honestly, la, it's not because I, I, I doubt my own capabilities or I doubt my, my colleagues' capabilities. It's just that I've, I had a feeling that we would be bored but it seems that we are not bored. Like, we are like, yeah. hey, let's just go, guys. Yeah. Next yeah. episode when? Like, like, no, no, it's like, it's <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, <laughs> next episode when? I don't, I, I, I guess, like, I can ask Wayne this question. It's like, it's almost kind of like writing comics. Because comics, right, uh, I, I think, I, I, be, I believe they are still like, you know, they still write according to, like, they, they write as they publish. They don't do like one whole big batch, right? And then they publish, right? Oh, I think they do. I think I think they plan out like story arcs, but we also do that as well. Yeah, but like it's not like two years, three years in advance. It's like at least like about a year, lah. At least in advance. Oh, okay. I, I mean, the I say arc, all, la, but like the the issues they no, do. but the issues also lah. But I say all this as if I I work for Marvel and DC. <coughs> By the way, anybody from Marvel and DC <laughs> watching? Context um, manager. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I I I feel like yeah. I. I there was a point where, yeah, you, you say like it was a long-term thing, but even for us, so the moment we hit a hundred, like I messaged Carl and I went like, I can't believe we, we hit a hundred, but also at the same time, I can believe that we hit a hundred. Like, I don't doubt that we would have hit a hundred, but yeah. also at the same time, it still feels kind of yeah. shocking. Yeah. Because yeah. to do a hundred episodes, right? Like to put, I mean, to compare to Dead Air itself, there. Yes, there's work, la, like you know, yeah. you set up the lights, the production, all these. This is just technical stuff. Uh, but the planning is quite minimal. The mm. script, there's a script, but it's mostly just conversational, right? But to write a hundred episodes of narrative, uh, mm. we're talking about pure narrative, right? I think that's quite insane. Uh. Like mm. I, I I looking back, it's not to toot my own horn, it's to like just look back, it's like, how the hell did I do it? Uh? Yeah. Like oh, how? I think the one thing we miss is that we actually collected a hundred actual stories yeah, they are, from people. They are all stories. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. There, there is, every single one of them, there is one research. Yeah. So a hundred research, a hundred, okay, a like hundred people and a yeah. hundred, uh, I guess, films, right? Because they can be easily adapted to films. So, yeah, I think, oh, it's quite, quite sure. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. I feel like we are like breaking down our own stuff like, Wow, really? Uh? <laughs> it's it's almost like a group therapy session. Like, yeah. Guys, did holy crap, debrief. We, we did it, didn't we? <laughs> we, we, did, we did it, we did it. It's like an Olympic run. But uh, here's to another 200. <laughs> yeah, for sure. No, we'll I, I like how you jump straight to another 200. <laughs> Not just another no, 100. It, it just came out. It, okay, it just okay. came out, I don't know. Okay, so um, to some comments, uh, mm. YouTube user is asking, which the episodes are longer? The story within the story is intriguing. Mm. Yeah, I agree with you. I think... We, we we are starting to have more arcs, but when if you overdo it, right, people will get annoyed. Because yeah. like, I just want to hear ghost story. So we're trying to balance. Yeah. Some people are just here, right? Oh, I just want to listen to one good ghost story. Yeah. This episode, I don't care what episode. Play. Then have we also try to balance that because uh there's the long time listeners, right? Then we want to give you something more. Mm. So like there's the now we are at the little girl arc la. Then before that, there was a uh, uh another arc. <laughs> yeah, sorry, phone ring. So there was a there was another there, there was another arc. There was the Keith arc. Mm, uh, yeah. Then way before that, there was the uh, his burnout arc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> he yeah, was yeah. like, oh, I, I, I see a lot of ghosts already. Then now I need to take a break. Yeah, my accident. Right? Yeah, your accident. Yeah, yeah. Then, then, then they got all the guest stars. By the way, let us know if you like the guest stars. We can bring more, even more guest stars. <laughs> I still remember when you were recording the episode. <laughs> that was the first time you went. <laughs> Am I fired? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is where we took a break. Uh, a for, year. For, yeah, no, for, for like the, three months. Yeah, for yeah, the collector. Yeah, right, yeah for yeah. the collector. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, Jude Carpio is asking, other than the collector's own story, what episode did the collector enjoy recording or what's his Oh, it's a Ooh. very good question. Actually, yeah. it's in our list. But okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, thanks, I, Jude. I would say, okay, so, I mean, how do I put this? When yeah. you're trying to just read a script, mm. you know, you're like, okay, I just want to mm. do a good job telling the, the story, right? But I can remember there were some episodes, I, 
I don't know the numbers, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know the numbers, which number episode it was. But there were episodes and we all were there when I'm reading and I literally get chills. Mm. Like I would stop and I'm like, holy crap. Mm. You know, I've had those kind of remarks. I'm like, oh, yeah. damn, I'm actually feeling, I'm getting, I'm getting that feeling, right? And, you know, those moments are actually very special. Yeah. It doesn't happen too often just because yeah. I'm very in the zone, yeah. right? Um. I mean, a lot of the stories are really, really good stories, but there are some, especially like during the build-ups that we do, yeah. a few paragraph build-ups, right? The, you know, um, the main point of what uh, the, the haunting or the the occasion that's happening within the story that I'm like, oh, damn, okay. That, that was actually quite scary. I think I remember, or, or there was an episode, I think episode 22, if I'm not wrong. Um, because also like friends that I know that I want to, of course, share, mm. uh, I tell them, hey, listen to Ghost Maps, right? I don't ask them to start from the start, the beginning. Yeah. Funny. Uh, I actually, you know, <laughs> choose certain episodes for them to listen to because yeah. I know those episodes, I also yeah. felt something. I actually love those episodes. Yeah, I remember there was one episode where it was, I believe, in um, Indonesia or Malaysia. I can't remember. But it was about the girl at the end of the episode being able to see spirits oh. because of the father the there was a, the, the curse yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. generational thing yeah. where the father brought her out into the woods yep right to to meet like the hermit lady yes. that is my favorite episode there's a hungry ghost one was that that was I, my favorite I think episode. that was Malaysia yeah. yeah so thank you Jude for that for that that question of course personally my own story uh, that's also uh, close to home because I was there experiencing it um, if you, I, I think you guys have some questions on that, so we'll mm. see whether I, I reveal which episode is mine. But uh, yeah, I remember that particular one was fantastic to record and to listen to. Just to just to balance it out so that people don't think I'm constantly trying to get you fired. I I will say that it's not <laughs> you're you're giving yourself a little less credit than you deserve because I those episodes where you give those comments like holy crap this is really, yeah like you will finish the whole recording first. Yeah, I, yeah. I've ne I've never seen you like stop halfway through like uh. You you're always in the zone throughout the whole thing. It's only yeah. at the end of the episodes where you go. Yeah, actually, that was really that, good. That's, yeah, that's yeah. good. <laughs> so very professional, very yeah. professional. So the one the episode that he was talking about is episode twenty two. Yes, hundred yeah. of hundred office in Shenton Way. I knew it. That's the that's the one. Then the other one, the cursed one, is actually submitted by uh, uh uh I think one of our listeners. It's called the Sakai Jin from Kadai. Yes, which episode is that? Oh, uh, 31. 31. Mm, yeah. 22 was the one in the office late at night. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Where there was actually a... Oh, never mind. I <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would say... <laughs> You're like, I've already read the episode. No, no, no. I would say actually for a lot of people who maybe... We we switched the way... Or at least you switched the way you write. I don't know if you did this, did this consciously. But I would... I imagine the first few episodes that we did where you can almost say that it wasn't a ghost, that it could have been mm. something else. Yeah. Right? Like, I made this comment, like, in episode 22, right? It was she, um, uh, the lady that was telling the story, um, was, uh, wanted to work late at night mm. with her boss or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I read the script. I'm like, is she, you know, is there something going on with her and the boss? And that you, you could explain it that way as well. Mm. Right? So, a lot of the the initial scripts, at least the initial episodes that you wrote, you could almost say that, well, maybe it wasn't a ghost. Oh, you know, I don't know if you did that because every time I read the scripts, I'm like, well, actually, maybe there's something did that like it, it wasn't just a supernatural thing. And sometimes people make up these mm. kind of like you know situations to excuse certain behaviors or something like that. I'm I'm trying to remember whether this was a conscious thing. Yeah, I think we did talk about it though. It it's, was a it, while ago. It is possible. Yeah. I'm it. it you mentioning that kind of brings up a very good point. I, want, I was going to ask also, like, you know, how how your approach to this, how you think your performance has changed over time. Mm. I wanted to bring this up also because it's worth mentioning. And I think I've said this on, on Did There before, that as we continued recording, you had more input in terms of, you know, at the very least in most episodes, the choice of a word. Phrasing. Used. Yeah, the phrasing. the the And not just like, in terms of script, but in terms of the tone that the narrate the the collector takes and everything. Mm -hmm. So, how do you think like your performance has changed? Uh, I mean, I think this, even at the start, it was it was some somewhat like that because I mean, yeah. I I write as well. Yeah, you know, not as well as you, of course. Oh, uh, stop. <laughs> We're not gonna kill you with episode hundred and two. 
<laughs> I already recorded that. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. So as in like, uh, you know, I, I write as well. And for somebody reading the story, sometimes it's just a purely a, how it rolls off the tongue. Yeah. Sometimes it's just that. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, but a lot of times it's also like, I'm just trying to put myself in the in 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 the in the mm. shoes of the the collector, right? Yeah. And be like, okay, maybe because you know, I've kind of built up this persona and profile that I can pretty much play him. Like yeah. I know, mm. I can at least imagine his thoughts and mm. how yeah. he is as a person. It's very difficult for purely an audio series because you know, a lot of who somebody is is also how they behave and act and yeah. you know their the mannerisms and stuff like that. Yeah. On a purely audio situation, it's very hard to get that. Um, you know, but I'm just, especially, you know, 10, 20, 30 episodes in, you kind of get a inkling. Mm. And I think you as well. I mean, yeah. it works both ways. Yeah. Right. Mm. I think I make less edits now because most of the time it's, you know, we, we understand. Yeah. Like I've made comments to, to Wayne on like, sometimes his, um, certain sentences that he writes has too many syllables. Right. And it's just hard to record too many syllables. Like, four words with like multiple syllable words in a row is just hard to record. Yeah. I'm like, can we choose a simpler word? <laughs> Sometimes it's just that. Wayne likes to flex his brain. Like, he's yeah. like I, oh, no, I no. know the cheap word. Huh? At, at this point, right, if there's a multi-syllabic word in the script, yeah. oh, that's put in purposely. Because <laughs> <laughs> Wayne realized it. Then he's like, I'm going to put this in just so no, but it's, it's That's the thing. Like, you're right. It, it's yeah. actually, working with you has actually helped me with writing for podcasts. Yeah. Because it never occurred to me before, like, oh, a sentence that is like three lines long, mm. you're going to have to go, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I was like, oops. And, and it's very different, uh, as in sentences are very different read and spoken loud. Yeah. Right? And I think even I have to learn that, right? Because part of my previous job is in, in terms of writing is persuasive kind of writing. Mm. And a lot of that is, you know, you need to write in a way that people think. Yeah. Right? And most of the time people think uh, with an inner monologue and actually they speak those words out loud. Yeah. Right. So that's just a different style. Uh, and I think, you know, we 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 kind of like had to modify that. I think we yeah. do very well now. Yeah. With the scripts. Yeah. 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 I, I, I I agree. The scripts are great. <laughs> Speaking of scripts, right? <laughs> okay. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrongly. Uh. You Uzel Shock uh is asking, mm. however, in the near future, you will release a book version of Ghost Maps. It is in the list, lah. It's yeah. something that we'll do because Wayne is a published, yeah. award-winning author, mm. <laughs> represented internationally. <laughs> so it, it is definitely something that we will do, lah. It's like it's as easy as saying, "Oh, Ghost Man will make film because filmmaker, right?" Mm. So, so but it's in the list because it's a lot of work. Like it's not yeah. just like I copy paste the script. No, it's write writing for screen, writing for podcast, writing for books, right? All different things. Yeah. So, but I mean, I if we put on our business brains or business hats, definitely oh, yeah. multiple formats, yeah. Yeah. audio, written, visual, is all very possible and horror has uh, had success in all forms yeah. of, of format. So, it's definitely a possibility. I was going to say we could do an audio book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Compilation episodes all available on YouTube right now. You yeah. just put all 100 episodes into one. Make it a 20 hour long you know, YouTube cheat episode. Out, you cheat <laughs> Would it be too late? It would probably be yeah, at least 50 15 hours. minutes. Times, it's 1,500 minutes. Oh, yeah. 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 So now, now you know, the collector's very good at math. Oh, yeah. 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 So, <laughs> welcome back, Lost in Malaysia. Lost in Malaysia, say good evening, guys. Make sure to tune in for this episode, which is, yeah, it's nice to see you. Yes, good to uh, have you here. Copy Dog is saying, better yet, a journal ghost maps. A journal of ghost maps complete with maps, pins, Ooh. that pinpoints where a story was connected. You could connect. do like a collector's edition. Hey, like collector's that. edition. <laughs> I, I think hey, that's point, title already. <laughs> maybe uh, that, collector's edition. That actually does sound nice. It's like, um, uh, what's his name? Guillermo del Toro. He did mm. this book, like the Cabinet of Curiosities, where yes. like, you know, he got all the artifacts and stuff like that. In it. So yeah, I think I, think I agree. Because if... The fact that Ghost Maps has you narrating it and like, I always say the scripts are one thing, but the scripts, when read out, that becomes a whole different beast. And like you said, lah, like, you know, stuff that's written down doesn't necessarily roll off the tongue. Yeah. I figure if we're going to do a book of it, it has to be something that's a bit more elevated than just taking the scripts yeah, and implementing Definitely. It. it will be different for sure. It yeah. has to be, you know, and actually on that note of, you know, because we're called Ghost Maps, I imagine the collector has you know, like this big-ass board, like a like a 
pin board. You know those like in um like detective shows. Yeah, you yeah. know where you know, he has the, pins the and string and, and, and you know yeah, which is yeah. you know what I expect it to be because the entire point every episode that we start is in a different location. Mm. You know you could have you know like a pin and like a quick synopsis and stuff like that. We could create a map. You could just ruin it and just say he uses Google Maps. <laughs> yeah, we could. We could. <laughs> he, he uses an actual recording device, but uses Google Maps. Eventually, we could even do haunted tours. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, I mean, that that, that was something that well, we we kind of worked on. Uh, we yeah. adapted some of the Ghost Maps episode into yeah. like an audio uh, thing mm. where you go around to the haunted places. We did one yeah. for Old Changi, mm. Old Changi Hospital episodes. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure any of you tried it. We tried it. Um, which is quite creepy. Lah. When you walk around where listening to ghost stories, then you walk all the way to Old Changi Hospital. That's yeah. weird. Lah. Your voice is keeping people company while they walk to... Um, I don't know. The, the I don't know about the word company. And all, right? <laughs> it's like, it's, it makes it worse. I'd rather just hear the crickets, That's the true. cicadas and stuff. I, I don't want to hear like ghost stories. No, in situations like that, do you actually want to be alone? Yes. Well, because exactly. I... Exactly. Because I will know that I'm alone. Yeah. Because if I start hearing voices, right, then if there's other voices, like, oh my God. Yeah. You'd rather be alone. You heard it here first. Carl prefers the sound of crickets to our collector's voice. <laughs> no, I, I, I prefer the sound of crickets to the sound of horror. Well, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. So, Computer was also saying, yeah, collector's edition sound great. Add some t-shirts too, they'll be perfect. Yeah. It's in, in the works. The t-shirt and the collectible stuff is in the works. Yeah. You know, so now we'll, we'll the t-shirts will just have to be your head. Yeah. The head, the head with the green tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, do a, sponsor. <laughs> we'll do a partnership with Poker. <laughs> yeah. Okay. WSA is asking. I remember Wayne and Kyle shared some spooky experiences while recording. Did Mr. Mm. Collector ever recall encountering or feeling any spooky experiences during recording? Not a recording. No, no I, I don't think so. Do you remember... I oh, we did. We, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. Like, for me, I don't, I don't yeah. remember uh, having supernatural experiences when recording Ghost Maps. Yeah, yeah, I don't recall recall anyone. Even even when we were in our studio at uh, Golden Mall, mm-hmm. I don't think we had. Yeah. Oh yeah, you did record at Golden yes, Mall. Yes, we did. Yeah, 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 we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I completely uh, forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I don't. Uh, I didn't. Not recording, but. Um, I've had multiple supernatural encounters. Mm. Um, if you want to get into it. Yeah, I know you're definitely gonna ask me later oh, no, it's on. Literally, our next question. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. ask the question, then I'll answer it properly <laughs> before I really get into fine. it. We were, we were going for a whole conversation here, but fine. I'll yeah. unlock my phone. Mm. Do you have any of your own ghost stories? Uh, yeah, that was it. Okay, right. <laughs> what, what were you expecting? <laughs> I don't know. No, you, no, no, you know, you know, you have now, right? You have a lot of listeners listening, and you, yeah. you can't do it in your normal voice. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. you try to, you know, of course, of course. Yeah. No, so um, for a period of about a year and a half, um, I felt, well, I had multiple encounters uh, where I definitely believed I saw spirits, um, both just there and malicious ones as well. Mm. Um, This all started because, so I went to a polytechnic, I I won't name it, (laughs) right? And I was part of a CCA and... I had two other friends, one a mm. senior and one um, uh, the same batch as me, same year as me, and they claim to have uh, the third eye, right? So they claim to be able to see. Mm. And it was freaky because every time you go out with them and they see, right, they do this thing just to prove to everybody else that they can see. They do this thing where they count down, three, two, one, they'll point and they'll say like what, like if it's like a man like what age or even what color because one of them uh, they said they could see auras right so and I don't think this was planned right they were just eh and then three two one like both, four of, people, them. both of them exactly at the same time they sound right? like fun mm. no it was scary as hell they're great people but that was scary as hell so the thing is for my entire year one of school um, nothing really year two was when I got closer to the both of them and I felt that their um, experience or their uh, affinity to the supernatural rubbed off on me because I'm very interested in the supernatural. Mm. So I felt the closer I got to them, the more I started seeing, experiencing myself. 
I don't think I ever had a third eye or even come close to what it was, but it was very, very strong. It started mm. out with just having, like, knowing something's in the room, yeah. feeling like, okay, something's not right. And I've never felt those feelings before. Um, both alone, both with friends, you know, and then eventually actually, you know, seeing silhouettes of ghosts and knowing that something's there and that they don't want me there as well, mm. right? And that lasted for a year and a half. But after I stopped hanging out with them, just because, you know, we went to year three and then I graduated um, and because I, you know, stopped hanging out with them, it faded. And eventually I'm like, actually, I don't, I stopped. Like, I, I, I clearly remember my last encounter with the supernatural. And then after that, I, I remember there was no more, right? Mm. Um, my last encounter was very specific. I was coming home from, um, you know, just late at night. Maybe I was clubbing. I can't remember, right? But when early days of clubbing, I actually uh, did not consume any alcohol. I was sober clubbing. And so it wasn't like, you know, this affected my, uh, my vision or whatever, mm. right? But I remember going home and uh, I would pass through this. Um, it's like a small playground. Uh, there's this one big tree and it's right after a car park. This, right. this one was at your old place, right? This was my old place. Your northeastern part of Singapore. Yeah, that, that's correct. Okay. Purple line. I, purple I, line I, I know where it is. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah. And I clearly saw something in the tree. The park? Uh, yeah. The, the big ass park? Uh. Not the big ass park. This was, this was actually after the, the car park. Uh. Near uh, to the cup. Near near the food court. Near the hawker center. They got they got playground where? Small, small playground. Very small. In front of McDonald's, ah? No, no, behind. The other side. Other side. No, no, nearer to your house or no no. Nearer to the MRT. So just after the MRT, if you come out a certain way, it's actually all just cup up. Right. All right. Oh and then near there's... the florist. Correct. Yeah, the floor. Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. So everybody okay. else is like, I okay, mean, okay. you guys won't get the context, but <laughs> yeah. we get the context. Near the floor is. Okay. Right? And there's a small, tiny, tiny part because there's just one slide or something like that. Okay. Right? And, you know, that was my last encounter because I saw something in the tree and I definitely knew it was there and I then just, you know, just avoided. What time was that? Mm. This was like 2, 3 a.m. Oh my God. Probably. Right? Uh, no, maybe... No, because I remember I came from... I came from the MRT... It might not have been a night of clubbing. It could have been last MRT back home. 1 a.m.? Maybe 12 something. Mm. Yeah, definitely 12 something. 12, I'm just trying to be accurate here. Probably around 12.30 actually. But uh, actually, the, the area is near the mall. So it's, yeah, it's, it's near quite the mall. lively. Like, it even is at actually that point. a very lively area. But at that point, was it lively? Uh, no, it was late at night. So everything's closed and stuff like that. It's probably one of the only ones. I can't remember back. if the hawker center was 24 hours. No, no, no. no, 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 no hawker no, center no. in Singapore usually not no, 24 no. hours. So that was my last encounter, okay. very vivid last encounter. And then after that, like nothing really. You, you broke off connection with them. Correct. Like. Right. It just so, drifted, right? Yeah, it just drifted. I mean, you know, we not say we stopped being friends, we just drifted, right? And no mm. reason to hang out with them all the time because we were part of a CCA and I was literally with them almost every single day. Mm. You know, so you build that connection. And I was very open to actually having that kind of experience, right? So because what did you see? Where that particular time? What did you see? Yeah, just something in the tree, a silhouette. What? Or uh, just a female? Silhouette. Oh, female. Yeah. Kaka. Yes. Oh. Yeah. But you see, is is it silhouette or like is it like you can see like the pale of no. the white dress? It's in only an outline. So uh, my my experience has always been an outline, and I wouldn't say the color of their clothes. I'm using quotation marks here, but just somewhat similar to you know um like a like a like a um, like a fade oh um, you know right like a faded white or sometimes i see faded blues in different colors actually mm. right? right but it's mainly an outline and the outline is quite obvious mm. yeah you could tell so right translucent uh. almost like a void oh yeah so if you look directly you see nothing there but you can see an outline yeah mm, wow. yeah and i've seen some horror movies that do it so well I've watched the horror... I can't remember which one. But I've watched a horror movie where they depicted a ghost in the horror movie exactly like how I see it. Mm. And I watched... I was like, holy that crap, means, that is how I see that ghosts. That means the, the guy see with ghosts before. Huh? Perhaps. Yeah. But apparently also different people see ghosts quite differently. Yeah. Because the people I hung out with don't see it like that all the time. You know, some of them see it more defined. There's like the full body apparition. Then there's like the... Depends on your connection to the other side. Yeah. It's like a frequency thing, right? 
Yeah. Oh, but to see from your friend, your friend power. That means your yeah. friend, right? He's both they, of they're them. very very strong. Like male, female, or both male, male. And I know wow. until today they are still like that. Still like they yeah. used to it, lah. Yeah, probably since young. No, but like did they act on it? Because like okay, so the the reason I ask is because usually, uh, there's only a few reasons why they would, people can see mm. is 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 either a curse mm. like as depicted in our shows, yeah. uh, or it's a divine calling. Mm. So they are like tools of the higher power. Or uh it's just sway it off. Yeah, yeah, unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. Something happened. So did they do something about it? Um uh, I think they were very okay with it. Because every time I spoke to them, it was never a they weren't scared. They just mm. know because that the these spirit, things exist. The spirits will know. Yeah. They know Maybe. that you can see. Even if Perhaps. you act like you cannot see, they know, bro. Yeah. So they weren't they weren't like disturbed by this no. as in like bothered by the spirit no. or anything right no. just wow. there lah yeah they're mm. there and uh, you know they weren't ever scared they weren't and they didn't want to make a big deal of it mm. you know to everybody else that they know is, is scared they, they don't but because you know I showed interest in it you know and so they would tell me and stuff like that and that's how we got that connection because I was almost offering myself to kind of like be involved in some way. So I like, I like how you said they didn't make a big deal of it at the same time. Three, two, one. <laughs> hey! So, yeah. but uh, did you tell them about this experience? Yes. Then what did they say? I said, yeah, they expected it. Oh. They honestly expected it. Which which, which one was more? Like, both of them were like... Uh, uh, the one that was older than me, so one year older, I think yeah. he definitely was, was more. more. Yeah. yeah. So, did, he, did you ever see him go and talk to like, eh? No. Like, eh bro, uh, siama. No, 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 no. But I mean, in one of the stories, right? Which, um, okay, basically to to set the context, one of the stories that I told the reason why we had an encounter was because that day we forgot to do an offering, mm-hmm. and because that guy that could see, yep. he's the one that usually gives the offering, and he was ill, right? So because he wasn't there, we didn't do it properly. We did mm. it very late, yeah. right? And the reason he did it is because he know. Mm. Right, this is something that he kind of like grew up with, and and he was so sought after because during Polly we do this thing called night walks, yeah. and every camp would want to do a night walk, mm. so everybody would call him, or at least people who know him. Hey, can you come down just to do offering? Every camp, mm. you know, because they know how much he knows about it, and you know, he's like he's he's explained to us how important it is, mm. and clearly that day because we didn't do it correctly or early enough, we were definitely affected. Yeah, I I, I think uh do when 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 you say like offerings, right? Like he's talking to them? No. Just what, burn lah. What what he would do, and I've seen this with my own eyes and it freaks me out. Multiple people have seen this and it freaks us out. Mm-hmm. All he does is like a cigarette, maybe a multiple cigarettes. And you and all he does is just put it on the floor. Now, if you think, if nobody's smoking a cigarette, you just light it, you put it on the floor, it probably takes maybe a minute, two minutes for it to fully burn up. Mm. Literally, the cigarette burns out within 20 seconds. It's like somebody is smoking. puffing on it, mm. right? Or at least the fire do you, is do being you see drawn. The yes, you like, see, and then it all becomes ash. Like, shh, like that, uh. Yeah, I mean, wow. 20, 30 seconds is actually very fast yeah, to yeah. see the entire cigarette just go the, away. Uh, the spirit, like, Last time I don't know why the spirit died. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Lung cancer. <laughs> I try my best not to make fun of spirits, uh, but I'm sorry. Uh. It'll be hard to not make fun. Uh. Just no, but, uh, he but, but, made a joke, uh. but that is the offering every single time. Yeah, and sometimes yeah. he knows when you need more. So sometimes it's two, three, four cigarettes what at brand? a time. What brand? Ah, yeah, <laughs> you guys were legal, right? Age to buy cigarettes. Let's just say yes, lah. <laughs> I mean, in all fairness, it wasn't like they yeah, were the ones smoking. It, it was for spiritual protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the yeah. yeah, yeah. uh, Uncle, I want to buy cigarettes for you, ah, uh, no, for my friend. <laughs> for ghosts, <laughs> for ghosts, for ghosts. <laughs> yeah. So yes, yeah. So so you know that was definitely one of the experiences that mm. we had, and that was freaky because I saw it, and you know, and at times also when I uh, had my uh, encounters, as I would say, a lot of the times I was alone. But there were times where there were other people with me. Mm. And there was also one other friend that I know he couldn't see. But the day that something happened to all of us, right? A lot of them said that they saw something as well. Mm. Right? Mm. So we all like 
tried to make sure that everybody's story was the same. Not not to like, hey, let's corroborate and like, or just mm. make sure everybody's story is the same. Uh, it's like to tell other people or whatever. No, it was just to make sure that, hey, did I see correctly? Yeah. Yeah, did yeah. you also just see that? You know, and we would tell each other, this is just among people that n- normally don't see ghosts. Mm. And everybody saw the same thing. Mm. Right? And it's like three, four people that mm. this happened to us. So that was my first time that I, because a lot of the times also, especially when it's the first few times, you're like, I know, I imagine that. Yeah, yeah. You know, or uh, I wanted to see it, so I put it in my head. Yeah. Mm. Right? Mm. And you try to explain away many of the things because yep. it's a very hard thing to fully believe in ghosts. Yeah. Right? But yeah. the first time that I know other people saw the same thing I did was the first time I'm like, holy shit, this is real. Mm. Or it's as real as it gets. Yeah. 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 I mean, uh, I, I think the internet... To say the internet, like the trolls are mean, is an understatement. La. But I, 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 sometimes I watch other horror creators also. Mm. Then they talk about like possession. Then they talk about like divine help, right? They get divine help. And some people see God and stuff. Yeah. And then uh, you see the comments, like, you're just like, what the hell, man? <laughs> it's like, well, one is just straight railing IMH. <laughs> <laughs> then got one put the Wikipedia, schizophrenia and stuff. I mean... Mm. You're free to believe whatever you are. You're also free to not believe whatever you are. But I think to shit on other people's belief is kind of mean. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I personally, I do believe there is uh, different things that we cannot comprehend. Science cannot comprehend I at a certain point. No, in fact, the first few times, you do think that you're crazy. You yeah. do think that... You do no, a double take. Yeah, you do like, a double no take. No way yeah. Yeah. this is actually happening to me. And like, and sometimes you see something today, two weeks later, you're like, did I actually see that thing? Yeah, Maybe like, I imagined it. Yeah. You know, and you are trying to convince yourself that it didn't happen. That's that's what I say about my Mila Jolovich ghost. Uh. <laughs> what? I, <did> I <laughs> like, obviously, you have not, you <laughs> you have not watched enough Dead Air. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Resident Evil or Monster Hunter? Both. <laughs> like, she looked like Mila Jolovich. Okay, okay. okay. So, let's go way back. Uh, uh, The collector and I, we are same age. Mm. So, right? So we there was it was about maybe close to when I was six or seven. Mm. My grandfather passed away. It was in the the nineteen ninety nine. I remember, and uh, I me and my dad slept in his room after he passed. Uh, I think this was like maybe two three weeks after he passed. Mm. Then there was this one night. Uh, I remember clearly because. Uh, the the aircon that 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 was in the room was the very old kind. It's not even the mount on the ceiling. You mount on the window and mm. it's a national <laughs> national brand aircon. And then it's very noisy. It's like <laughs> and then sometimes it will stall. <laughs> then the engine will come back, right? Mm. So so it was noisy. But we you know you just turn tune to white noise. Mm. And as a kid, you just don't care like sleep. Then uh, I'm an early sleeper, so I will sleep at 8 p.m. That kind. Mm. So it's very weird and out of character for me to wake up early at all. So, but I woke up at 3 a.m. Then the reason why I woke up was because I heard uh, funeral procession noises. Oh wow! Outside of the window at three in the morning. At three in the morning. So it was the the aircon, mm-hmm. then the window, right? And then you can hear outside. It's like mm-hmm. approaching me, like chung, 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 toy, toy, toy. Yeah. and all the all the sound mm-hmm. la, all the all the procession sound. That's like. Weird, huh? but as a kid, you don't think it's supernatural. You're yeah, like, why it's not, so? It's not the first thing. That you're, you're like, why is this? Yeah. So I told, I, I obviously I told my dad. I, I just shook my dad. Hey, uh, there's uh, the funeral noises. He's like, oh, don't, don't talk nonsense. I just sleep, uh. mm. Then when I turned back, right, I saw uh, the face of a ghost. And at this point, I've not watched Resident Evil, and nor has Monster Hunter came out. It's 1999. <laughs> <laughs> a face of a Caucasian ghost. Right. Female ghost, Caucasian. Same hairstyle as Mila Jolovich in Resident Evil. Like the comb back one. The, the part where she like become like, like a fighter then she got comb back mm-hmm. hair and then her face is just like staring back. Wow. So there's no mental image of Ang Mo. I, 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 never, I don't ever mm. met a Caucasian woman where I, right. I believe when I was six or seven, right? <laughs> so it's very weird for me to actually see this thing one. Yeah. Like, like where did I get that imagination from? Then she just like like that, just staring at me. Look, mm. never even make anything like just just. Then that freaked me out. I was like, what the hell is this? Then I told my dad, 
Hey, hey, got someone on, and the window. I got someone at the window. And then he's like, wow, nobody lah. Then, mm. you know, like Asian dads, they're like, just don't lie at you. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I want to sleep. Just go back and sleep. You don't sleep, I'll beat you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, I, then for some reason, the reason why I remember this story, my first ever sighting of a ghost yeah. is because the next thing I said didn't make sense. I said, dad, I want to eat hot dog. I, I really feel like eating a hot dog at this point. You became American. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> then 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 he said, What what hot dog? Like you're going to sleep. La. <laughs> Shut up. <la." laughs> then I, I think I, I got scared. La. Then I went, I got scared of my father. <laughs> then I went to sleep. <laughs> so this is the most wild, like illogical. Yeah. It, it could be a dream. It could be a dream for all we know. Mm -hmm. But I remember it very clearly yeah, because yeah. When I first I first saw certain things when I was a teenager as a ghost, yeah. like the one is I, I'm quite positive I saw something like, like just that kind of thing. Like then I saw like spirits going through someone. Yeah. Like I think that memory is not as strong as this one. This mm. one is super strong because of how weird it is. <laughs> <laughs> I first time seeing a Caucasian woman first time, as a and, a, and a ghost apparently. Yeah. When you're six, I yeah. I firmly believe till this day, right? After he told me this, I firmly believe that this is why he does not like the Resident Evil movies. Yeah. It has hey, nothing, hey, to, hey, it has nothing hey, to do with hey. whether they're faithful adaptations yeah. to the game. Hey, or hey. I do not like the Resident Evil <laughs> movies that Mila Jodovich has acted in is because it does not make sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because your experience makes sense. Uh. I want hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's time for you to rewatch all those movies. No. <laughs> but, but like thousands of from now, then oh you will rewatch. <laughs> Um, no, I, 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 I just feel that uh, it is everybody's experience is weird, it's mm, strange. Yeah. But I mean, going back to your experience, right? When you saw that thing, yep. Did you run? No, no, no. Then what? Well, you. I mean, uh, a lot pop, of the times, pop -a -pop -a no, a lot of the times you want to ignore it. Yeah. You don't want to give it any attention. But you, you look like, at it. Yeah, then I just walk away. You see it. You don't look at it. Oh, you see you, it. Yeah, you see. And then of course, you look away. So la. you babodo la. Hey, hello. You no. babodo ah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> right. Hey, hello. Hey, yeah. like, hey, come down. <laughs> what if you walk? What are those like idiots like, ew, whoa, stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, so of course, you immediately want to, you know, not, you know, uh, put any attention to it. Yeah. Right? You just walk away. But, one thing I, I mean, I told you guys, uh, definitely the listeners to be first time hearing it. Every single time I have an encounter and I see something, I cry, mm. right? And it's involuntary. As in, I'm not like crying, sobbing, just tears flow down my cheeks, right? Every mm. single time. Mm. Like at least, I, I know, it is when I know it's real, mm. right? Is when I involuntarily just have one tear suddenly form and, you know, I cry. And just, this just also, one tear. Yeah, just one tear. So dramatic. I know, right? It's so yeah, dramatic. Some, and this also is uh, what happens when I listen to ghost stories from people I know mm. who tell me ghost stories. And I know some people, of course, exaggerate a lot of things. Mm. When I hear ghost stories that and I don't cry, to me, I'm like, no, that didn't happen. Mm. But I've heard ghost stories where immediately I cry mm. and I know that happened to that person. But you never cry. I just like tell ghost story. That happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a bit hard to cry. The deal was hot dog. <laughs> no, but I said that was my. That was like a year, a year and a half of that, pretty much. Mm. You know, and so the the crying thing that did that stop after the year and a half? I never saw again. So then, yeah, right. I never. But when you hear stories, oh yeah, that still happens. Okay. That still happens. Yeah, yeah mm. because I recently heard uh, a story from a friend, mm. right, where he told me about his encounter. He was really, really young. I'm gonna, you know, try and give his story called justice right, right now. Where he was really young and he would go to tuition, mm. right? So uh, you go to tuition and it's like a, um, and and last time it's like just somebody's house. Yeah. Right. Uh, so it's like an old four story HDB. Uh, HDB is, you know, public housing in Singapore. So, like, so he would go to the, the person's house and then mm. um, this was during tuition in a class. Yeah. And then it was break time. So some of the kids would go down, right? And then after that, you go back up, right? Yeah. Because starting of the next class or something like that. Yep. So he was telling me that, you know, he was in tuition class. They go down for a break and he comes back up and he opens the door and time freezes. Mm. Mm. you know and oh he's like God. he almost entered like a like a parallel dimension Bro, kind of thing Dr. Strange yeah <laughs> you know and I and of course it's a it's a weird experience it's a yeah. weird story how, how did he know that time was 
Frozen. No, like apparently everything was frozen. It goods, yeah. Like no, yeah, nobody responded to him. Everything was still. Right? Good, eh? Yeah, now I mean I'm I'm sure you have some thoughts about <laughs> no, no, no. For, for me it's like I can do so much work and time will not no, pass, bro. But as a kid that's like eight to oh. ten years old. Oh he was a like child, primary school. Oh right. I think it was primary school, maybe early secondary school, I can't remember. Right? You you get freaked out. So while he opened while he was in that room, right? Everything is frozen, nobody's responding to him. He's calling out for his teacher and his friends, nothing happens. He leaves the room. And only after he re-enters again, it was normal. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> it bad. sounds like a game. You know, yeah. You had reset the <laughs> game. I, I, was, I was thinking that all the other students were like, okay, okay, okay. we just freeze, right? We, <laughs> mess, with we, him, we right? mess with him. <laughs> That's a really mean way of bullying yeah. someone. Yeah. But then when he asked his friends, like, like you know, I was I was in the, listen, I, 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 I was just in the room before this, y'all didn't hear me. They were like, no, you weren't. You weren't here for the last five minutes. Yeah. Something like that. We were looking for you or oh. something like that. I can't remember. Mm. Right. But it was around that whole, like, he literally entered a parallel dimension. And I usually don't believe this kind of story. But when he told it to me, then you cry. I cry. Like one tear. La. Yeah. And I'm like, you're, holy crap. You're a dramatic single tear. La. This is, I mean, to me, I don't know if it happened actually, but it felt so real for him that he. I believe what he saw. Hmm. I, least, I, I would say it, it, it's not ghost. It's more like a glitch in the matrix. Maybe. Like the they patching uh, the yeah, software yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. then they're somewhere screw up. This guy is screw up. Uh. <laughs> Never load. Yeah, later <laughs> you tell the story then the man in black come and <laughs> comes up. I, I still like to believe that his friends are messing with him. Uh. <laughs> no, no, but I think all, of all of them were like exaggerated hey, poses. Like. No, I, I think it's hard because to get a room full of kids yeah. to just keep quiet. Oh man, you you underestimate, the heart, la, they you underestimate how much kids want to mess with each okay, other. Okay, then what about the teacher? <laughs> he play along as well. Uh. Yeah, I presume your I, friend is about the same age as us. Uh. Back yeah, in those like, days, right? One Teachers year, are, don't mess around. No, 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 no. You. you say that. I, I, it, like when I was in secondary school, that we had one teacher, not my teacher, but like one of the other classes, a teacher who once went, Hey, I heard this, this guy's birthday today. All right, guys, we're ending class five minutes early for y'all to sabo him. <laughs> so cool. I can firmly believe that at least even the tuition teacher was also like, Hey, y'all sabo him. Okay, okay. <laughs> or every, the moment he comes in, all y'all just freeze. Huh? <laughs> Maybe. 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 You know, but and then, I think you're crying because, like, you know, oh, poor thing. This guy gonna bully last time. There's, I think there's three theories, uh, like glitch in the matrix, mm. like he actually uh went into the alternate dimension, yep. or the third one is uh uh what we call uh Gui Da Chiang. Basically, the ghost hide you, mm, the ghost yeah. shield you away from reality, yep, yep. so nobody can see you. Mm. Or just like when people can't find, they're, they're perpetually yeah, lost, they, right? They're yeah. taken. They're yeah. not lost. They 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 are hidden. Yeah. Mm. I don't think any any entity that was human is that powerful. Mm. Unless you're talking about demonic, then that one mm. I, I don't know. La, but but I think it was like a moment. Mm. Like there there are moments, I don't mean the Western world, they call it glitch in the matrix. Like, like yep. there are moments where you you cannot find a friend. Like, hey, where yeah. you are? So I was just there, I was standing yeah. there. Where are you? I, I I don't see you. Eh? Like, mm. like it can be as simple as like, oh, I'm at this restaurant. Like where are you? It's like I, I'm standing right in front. And it's like it's just a weird thing that yeah. happened. Then in your mind, you're like whatever lah. Mm. In fact, the the episode that we that we wrote from my story that happened. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, again, basically what happened was that somebody opened the door, turned on the light, right? Yeah. And the light didn't turn on. He called for somebody that should have heard him. They didn't hear him. Mm. And only after he closed the door and reopened it and turned on again, that then the light came on. Yeah. For that. Brief 10 15 seconds, something similar happened. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. yeah, wait. I uh, got one comment. Uh, Nadia is asking the, the secret just now. Hmm. Consulate Camel, come on, we need to know. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Let, let's just say, like, uh, Marlboro Red. Uh, <laughs> yeah, then Paris is saying, uh, when I saw it, I will, when I see the spirit, I will pretend that I didn't see it. Yeah, because the next moment when I walk in, my mind was like, what the hell. Wait. Sorry, going back to the cigarette thing. When the cigarette went down, did it make a sound? Why? Okay. Then confirm not Sampona. Like, oh, Sampona! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Sampona is a brand. We've, yeah. we've narrowed down which cigarette it is. Uh, it is Sampona got a pep 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 on it. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. yeah. So, uh, oh, I, I don't know what is this, uh, but Paris just gave us a super sticker. 
All right. It's like some money, I think. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. Thanks for, thanks for the support. Yeah. I I think I think the whole, you know, like the whole like, oh, uh, I may have slipped into a different dimension. Uh, is a I think it's quite an untapped thing in Southeast Asia horror. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, we are all about storytelling. Yeah, yeah, we're all about like spirits, uh, entities, yep. hauntings, right? But we never really talk about like different dimensions. Yeah. Because uh, I have friends who who are in the whole, you know, like the medium thing mm-hmm. la. Then they they say that there is really a fourth dimension. There is hell. There's different level of hell. Mm. You can go in. You can actually go and talk to entities mm. And uh, there's a way to channel your body to go to that dimension. Uh, also, uh, meditation, yeah. it works. I personally believe in astral projection. <coughs> like, you can escape <coughs> in your dream world mm. and, like, fly around and stuff like that because... Oh, you remember, can control it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I remember growing up, um, when I was younger, I've had extremely vivid uh, dreams where, you know, you you are in total control in your dreams. Mm. Not not the whole, um, like, oh, I leave the body and I go to, like, another room or something like that, but you're in a dream, but it feels real. Like, so real that you are yeah. Controlling everything, right. yeah, you know, and and I do believe that people can tap on that, and that could be uh, like a different dimension kind of thing, mm. yeah. So and I I always I, I I remember I had this like down the rabbit hole moment. I believe I was like seventeen or something, trying to make that happen all the time. So like you know, I don't know. I think I was actually older, probably twenty one. <laughs> you should <laughs> no, start now, with seventeen. No, man. no. Now thinking back, it's probably twenty one. I remember I was in my first job, mm. and. Um, <laughs> What a way to slack off at work. <laughs> hey, where were you? You're supposed to finish your reports. I tried Astro Project. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so I was like, I went down the rabbit hole and I like I bought a book and mm. like a, like an audio series on like how to do this for yourself. Like things you need to do before you go to bed. Like look at the clock, look at your hand multiple times within the day because you need to wake yourself up within the dream. It's actually a very interesting thing. Did so, you do it? I never could. I never could. When I when I wanted to, I never could. Do you? Well, you always what? do is like. It happened. Yeah, it just sometimes. happens. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you remember what the look at the clock, look at your hand thing? What, what was that? You said you need yeah. to wake yourself up in a dream. Yeah, because in a in a dream state. It's like Inception. Right? Yeah, it's like Inception. <laughs> but in a, I didn't want to say it. Man. You know, okay, like actually, funny thing. Like, you know how in AI, right? Like, like sometimes they draw humans with like six fingers yeah, on yeah. one hand. Like, yeah. It hallucinates, right? Apparently, the same thing happens in your dream when you try to look at specific definitions. Right. Time on a clock and your fingerprints on your hand or even the lines on your palm, right? Because when you see that and you know it doesn't look like your actual hand or it doesn't look like your actual fingerprint or finger, you realize I'm in a dream. And then you actually start to take control. Yeah, because I remember somebody, I, I could have read this wrong, but apparently like you can't read in a dream. Yes. Words don't. Yeah, 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 correct. You can't yeah. see numbers also. Yeah, yeah. You can't do math. Yeah, that was one thing as well. I, I can't do math. In <laughs> yeah. But you were like, like one of the the book said, right? To so you start with the smaller things, mm. and then you you to really you know take full control, you need to do harder and harder activities that you know in your dream you cannot do. And one of it is actually just doing your time tables. Mm. You know. Oh. Yeah. Mm. So you just do your time table, and you actually are trying to wake your brain up. In your dream. Yeah. And then you actually do wake up. Yeah. Four. <laughs> Have you ever had like a double dream? Oh. What do you mean by a double dream? Like you wake like you wake up oh, and then you're still in a dream. You're I still have. in a dream yeah. I had. Like I it's have. it's quite and usually Freaky. it's a it's a nightmare. Usually yeah. it's a it's a nightmare. I think I had. Yeah. Yeah. What what was your dream? Oh, I can't remember, but oh. definitely I remember I, I wake up and I'm thinking I'm out of it. Yeah. Or I'm safe. Yeah, but and I'm not, actually still. There's a plot twist. Like your brain, yeah. like, ah ha ha. No, because I think what happens then, I actually did read you. You are trying to wake up. Yeah. Mm. Right. So you force yourself to wake up, and you do, but you're not actually awake. Mm. Right. So you actually play a different dream sequence, where you actually do wake up, mm. but you're still dreaming. Yeah. yeah. Buffering lah, basically. <laughs> Buff- <laughs> buffering. <laughs> the 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 buffering way of dreams are. Yeah. Yeah. I I I I. I always have this kind of uh, astral projection dreams. Uh, I don't know why it's so common for me. I will know one. Immediately, right, if I want to know whether if I'm dreaming or not, I will just jump out of the window. Ah. The moment I jump out of the window, I can start flying. Right? Then I, I, I this one dream. Like, <laughs> let me just have some fun. Dude, I love that. I want that to happen all yeah, the time. Yeah, the flying the flying dreams are the best. Yeah. Like, it's the most fun one. Because you can start flying like, woo! Like, yeah. like, and then somehow your brain, right, is able to image it. 
Yeah. So it's like Google Earth. Uh. Then you can kind of see yourself <laughs> in a different perspective that you will never see because, because I don't recall flying. Yeah. So why would I have this memory or why would I have this image in my mind? Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah. yeah. I know. Maybe test it out a different way. Uh. What if one day like you're very tired from editing ghost maps what? Then you're like, I must be dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> Just test it out a different way first. La. I think I will survive the fall. Uh. My house is not that high. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> but another thing also that happened to me growing up and this was definitely something weird. It happens less often now, but I used to have frequent deja vus. Like, mm. very, very frequent deja vus. And the most vivid one I can remember, and it's the freakiest one I remember, was I was in primary six, right? And basically what happened was that I was in a, kind of like a neighborhood primary school, and literally opposite our block. Mm. It's just a HDB block, right? right? One day, while we were in class, right? We heard um, police, right? And everybody went outside and we saw the police tent, right? right. And they usually do that because somebody mm. had jumped yeah. down mm. and somebody's dead. So they mm. put the police tent over. And when I saw that, from where we were in school, I was on the sixth floor, right? And looking down, mm. deja vu. Right. And I swear, I dreamt it. And I actually only dreamt it probably only a few weeks before that happened. So... In my dream, I actually saw the person jump. Mm. Now, in real life, it didn't. Because mm. we only saw, you know, somebody had landed. But in my dream, and when I saw it, when I said deja vu, I played the right. dream back in real life. Like, almost like I had a flashback of some sort mm. of me seeing... Because you had that memory, right? Because I have that memory. From your dream. Yeah, you yeah. do can you can keep memories from your dream. That's the deja vu aspect of yeah. it, right? So, oh, yeah, I, I recall doing this but this is my first time doing it. Correct. And yeah. and I had multiple theories on deja vu. Uh, to me, and this is my way of explaining it, was the world telling me I'm on the right path. Mm. Right. Like it was supposed to happen. All the decisions you made leading up to it was correct mm. because this now happened. Something like that. It almost like you mm. hit like a, like a checkpoint of some sort. Mm. Yeah. So there's one explanation I had to deja vus. But I had deja vu. So like I was literally every single week I had a deja vu. It was so weird. And I could not explain it. Like, so many things happen. I'm just like, I just almost uncontrollably say deja vu because I know, like, I literally just dreamed about it. Sorry, I just coined the term for having deja vu all the time. Uh -huh. Every day. Shall <laughs> <laughs> also, I mean, speaking of dreams right now, they are saying, like, people who have been in coma says that it feels like an endless dream that you can't wake up from. Mm. It sounds like a nightmare. Like, like, you just live the same thing every day. Yeah. Twilight what zone. if you know that you're in a coma? Then you're like, fuck lah, I cannot. Mm. I mean, you know, living the same thing every day, isn't that just a shitty job? <laughs> <laughs> wow. This guy, yeah. Hey, people say that even when they go under, or even not just in, in a coma, but even when they go under like uh, anesthesia, yeah. they actually still feel everything. Mm. You know? And then people say that uh, when they're in a coma, they know their families there right next to them trying yeah. to talk to them, yeah. but they just cannot respond. Mm. you know they're like I knew you were next to me I could hear your voice Yeah, that's also kind of freaky that is yeah yeah. Mm. yeah. I remember hearing a, um, a ghost story from a, 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 another horror creator right she was she was undergoing a procedure and this person is a non-believer through and through even though she does horror so this uh, she's going under like a dental procedure la. then suddenly right she went under already she know that she went under mm. but she can still see things right, happening. Right, right. So she saw a nurse, right? There's not her usual nurse coming in and asking, you want this injection or not? Then she has a theory that that nurse is actually a evil spirit that's trying to take her soul away because she's under, ma. Wow. It's okay. like, you want this injection? Because there's a smile. She said the smile, right, was right. very was malicious. Sinister, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. you want this injection? You can make your pain go away. Wow. Like, Ooh. away. Then she was approaching. Then she's like, no, I don't want, don't want, I 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 don't want. Yeah. Then the next thing you know, she woke up. She's like, right. oh, I'm done. Mm. Yeah. But That's then really it's not the nurse yeah. that she saw. It's the usual nurse. Yeah. Then she's like, whoa, like, bro, like this, this is some creepy shit. She's like, That's the only time that something weird happened to me while doing horror. Like, I've been mm. a horror creator for years. Like, this is the only weird thing. Mm. Other than that, she don't believe. Do you know this person in real life? Uh, no, la, but oh, like, yeah. this it's is the story a that I got. La, that Which I feel like, oh, that's quite freaky. Uh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like, yeah. imagine you see that thing, like, it's like, hey, you want the... And, and you're like, fighting for your life at that point. Mm. Yeah. yeah. 
but like she's she fought hard lah. She said uh-huh. no lah, like no lah, like yeah. yeah. Then I guess that 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 uh worked uh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Timothy, with another uh super chat. All right. Uh, oh, wow. Thirteen dollars super chat, which is a oh, nice, wow. nine, thank nice, you, nice thank number you. thirteen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so, so much. So I mean, I I guess I want to ask the the audience, right? Like uh. You guys have like deja vu moments that were creepy, like oh my god, this just happened. Mm. I I I had one. Um, I can't remember, but it was creepy. It was something creepy happening, because you know, like when you're deja vu, right? Then you had that moment. Aha! I remember this happened, mm. but it, you're in the midst of it. Then I was like, the door's gonna slam. Pam! The door slam. Then I was mm. like. Yes. I'm like, bro. The thing is, you're right. Actually, sometimes deja vu lasts a while. Yeah. Right? So, like, you know it starts and you mm. actually know what's going to happen next. Yeah. You know, it like, happens. But then you're always in disbelief. It's like, yeah, no, like, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Then the dog, boom. Then you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, I've had it so So, many imagine times. you get, like, a deja vu. Then you see a ghost. Maybe. Bro. <laughs> like, double whammy. Oh. What? 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 Double whammy. Like both both freaky things happen at the same time. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. That would be freaky. Wait, wait. Have you had uh, deja vu before? No, I've had deja vu, but it wasn't anything like... I mean, first of all, it wasn't like a dead body. Mm. But yeah, nothing terribly freaky. It's just that sense like, eh? Why is this so familiar? Yeah. Eh? I've, I've had deja vu. I've had deja vu where I've met people and could have sworn that I met them before. Right. So I'm like, start talking to them all like, eh? Hey, and then they're like, who the hell are you? Mm. I was like, oh, right. Yeah, I haven't met you before. <laughs> but talking about deja vu and also like, I remember telling you guys that we I had a recurring dream. I yeah, what was it? I vaguely recall this one. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's another story, right? So, uh, this is a recurring dream that I had. Uh, I was still growing up, so I lived in Yishun, which is kind of like the northern part of of uh, Singapore, mm. also known as the slums. No, I'm kidding. For any, anybody of our international listeners that don't live in Singapore, it's just a joke. It's just that there's a lot of bad things happen in Yishun. It's, it's not a, exactly. It's not a <laughs> slum. It's just. <laughs> The epicenter of uh, weirdness. Uh, yeah, yeah, I personally think that Yishun gets a very bad reputation. Yes. But that's just me. I, I seem I, to be in the minority. I this. love Yishun. I grew up I yeah. grew up in Yishun. So anyway, so the, the recurring dream was that I was... And this actually... As in, this is something I, I did. It was an activity that I always did. Was uh, I would go to my cousin's house and we would cycle. Mm. Right? So we love cycling. We would just cycle. And we were in the Chongpang area. Right? Which is in uh, Yishun. And we actually had an episode... Uh, on yeah. Chongpang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So, um, not this particular story, but anyway. So, I was cycling uh, in the Chongpang area and we would cycle past Chongpang Market. And after Chongpang Market would be multiple, um, you know, uh, landed housing, right? So, these mm. are like, you know, terraces and bungalows yep. and whatever. And it's on the main road that we cycle on and the houses will always be on kind of like a street on avenue on the right. Mm. Right? So I would cycle and this in, in real life and, you know, we would just be in the area. So the recurring dream was that same thing happened. We're cycling, I'm with my cousins, mm. and we were cycling past the streets on the right. And one street in my peripheral vision, I saw like a treasure chest. Oh, yeah. No. In the middle yeah, of yeah. the street on my right. The first day that this dream happened, I just know there was a treasure chest there and I woke up. Right? And it was already you. And I felt weird, like okay, that. That felt like evil or sinister mm. or something like that. The next day, right? Literally the next day, same dream. And on the right, I see the treasure chest, and I decided to stop. Mm. I got off my bike, started walking towards it, and then I woke mm. up. Mm. Right. And then the third day, same thing. Down the street, I see the treasure chest. I stop. I start walking towards it, and I'm there, right above the treasure chest and something's calling for me to open it and I wake up. Oh my God. And then, I don't know if it was exactly the next day, but I knew it was the end of the week. There could have been a break. I think there was because I remember, yeah, yeah, I think it didn't happen exactly the next day because I remember there was a a day that I didn't dream of it and I'm wondering what, I was like trying to actually find out what what was going to happen. I was waiting for for me to redream it and I think it was only one day break. Where I'm in the dream again and I stop, I walk towards the treasure chest, I'm above it, something's calling for me to open it and I open it and it was 
like Pandora's box mm. where I open it and this like like black you know like it just started to take up space in mm. in my dreams like like spirits start flying out yeah, yeah. you know and you know it, it, you feel like you did something so wrong like I just like mm. unleashed evil onto earth and then I wake up and I never had that dream again and I I remember when that happened I woke up in cold sweat yeah it's the cold sweat when when did this happen I was young. Dreams. I was probably like 11, 12. Okay, so I, like I, the, I was about to say you unleashed COVID onto the world. <laughs> you know, it also was like your, your cousin's place, right? Yes, my cousin's place. Mm. So in Chongpang. Yeah. In Chongpang. Yeah. Landed yeah. or no one was landed. Like, we would cycle past the landed area. He didn't like, stay in HDB. Oh. But we, that's but, where yeah. we would cycle all I the know, time. I know like, oh, near the Nasi Lemak place. La. It was after Chongpang Market. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I roughly know. Yeah. Near the camps and stuff. Mm. On the other side. Cam mm. is you turn left, you turn right. Mm. Yeah. So, mm. yeah. So, that was... I mean, it's not deja vu because yeah. I didn't see it in real life. But it was real life entering my dream and every single day, you know, it, would, it just like developed. And that was also very, very freaky until today. It's super vivid in my head. Mm. Yeah. Nothing happened after the nothing. Pandora's. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, he, I became still, the, he became he's... the collector. <laughs> <laughs> I would still go to Chongpa and cycle. Right. Yeah, that it didn't dissuade me from. <laughs> that, that's not what I meant. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I the I was leading to oh, anything spooky, but not like I didn't really feel like. Cycling <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah, I stopped cycling for the rest yeah. of my life. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah. I have a question for both of you. Mm. Like I've always wondered, like ever since we started doing horror content, right? Yeah. Have you ever feel like you know that's just because we do horror content, we are one of them. We are the PR for them the spirits do you mm. feel like there's some form of camaraderie and respect and like like they will give you chance lah, even if you screw up you, you can say i've been talking yeah you're the guest <laughs> that's why you've been talking uh i don't think so uh, partly because I stopped experiencing mm -hmm. the supernatural. So ever since we started Ghost Maps, it's not like, you know, this reawakened something and I right. had another encounter. Yeah. Nothing since. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know. I don't think ghosts have Spotify, so they don't listen. I'm kidding. As in like, I, I don't think that there's that affinity being built, right? I think this is purely professional mm. and I hope the ghosts also see, that, uh, see it as that. Mm. Yeah. Because if not, every single set that is like shooting a horror movie always have you know like encounters though there were definitely some stories of people shooting horror movies and never yeah. being able to fil finish the film or you know the curse you feel, yeah filming mm. gets cut short because actually yeah. somebody gets possessed on set and yeah. stuff like that yeah but for me at least since we started this no yeah mm. okay mm. I don't know if it's a camaraderie I think I think it's similar my answer is similar to yours in the sense where it's professional is one thing. I think because the three of us, like the whole Hantu team has been very, we try to be as respectful as possible. Mm. And I think that's a conscious effort on our part. And I think they, at the very least, I don't know if camaraderie is the right word, but they understand that we're trying to be respectful. So they're like, all right, fair enough. I don't mm. think that buys us like a get out of jail free card. <laughs> I, I don't think like, oh yeah, yeah, they do ghost maps really well. <laughs> say, yeah, but they went, I know those guys. But they went out kick over a tombstone or something like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, let the ones like Yellow card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think they'll, I think they'll still jump the red card for us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, no, I think, I think it's, it's a, it's a, it's a professional courtesy for as long as we are respectful. Mm. I don't think it's, uh, you get, you, we punch on you uh, at any point, it's mm. just that. Mm. So yeah, yeah, I, I do kind of agree where, you know, yes, they do have a Spotify account <laughs> um, or YouTube. I don't know. Wherever yeah. wherever they get their podcast. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's purely professional. Mm. Do, do you think that they, like, I won't say give chance, la, like they, they are, they will appreciate it. Okay, okay. So let me let, let me put it. It's like you 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 feel that that connection already, right? Mm -hmm. Then when you walk home at night, hungry ghost man, you right. feel less scared. Cause no. it's like, hey, I, I'm the collector. Like. <laughs> I'm the collector, you know. I think the more I, I think like that, the more they want to. Yeah, I was like the arrogant to me. Like, oh, you know who I am, bro. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, no. You ask your friend, now. your friend know me. You know? <laughs> I go tell the story before. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I, I don't think so. Honestly, I rather like like not be not be known. Mm. Like yeah. if if let's say there is a ghost world and we are known for telling the stories, I I don't want to have that connection. Mm. I don't want them to know me. Uh, honestly, I I got news for you. Ah, uh, even though the audience cannot see you, uh, <laughs> I'm quite sure the audience from the other side can see you. Uh. <laughs> They're yeah. here today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm. What about you? Do you yeah, feel like yeah. do you feel like um we we have the gratitude of the supernatural when we tell these stories? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are regular listeners. Oh yeah, I right. don't know how much uh, but they are because there's a few times that I've gotten like just weird sounds or that mm. is technically not possible. And, yeah. I think, but it's not not on Ghost Maps. Strangely enough, is it was in the Golden Mouse Studio that I got the most uh activities, obviously, right? Mm-hmm. Like, and I recorded during Hungry Ghost Month, so obviously, um, and I think it's just uh the the amount of uh, weird things that that ha- has happened. It's not like oh, I I saw a ghost. No, it's more like I hear certain uh mm-hmm. interference on equipment that's new. Yeah. That shouldn't mm-hmm. happen. Like the chance of it happening is like close to zero. Uh, uh, like like uh, for example, one of the most famous cases was uh when I did a crossover uh o- over to Nanyang's Vice podcast, uh, Mandarin podcast, Uncle Zaku. Um, his mic caught something. <laughs> we were recording at eight a.m. in the morning because of scheduling, and mm. but during the Hungry Ghost Month, mm. so Singapore and KL is same time zone, but but his mic got the 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 weird sound, but mine didn't. I was like, oh my god, thank thank god. Mm. But like we are very very close to this this plane of existence so i will say that yes uh, i think the connection is stronger and i've also like 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 just now when we mentioned like you know ghost maps it was many years in the making mm. it was a thought lah, but like we finally did it right uh i think like two three years ago before ghost maps so 2017 the ghost maps was the 2019 not mm. 2017 i did ask by chance i met like a feng shui master not for me, lah. I was just saying, then the function, I said, You're a stubborn person, you will not listen to this kind of thing. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's like, then I, then I just asked him, So, do you think that I have the life to do horror? Do you think my 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 parts, my my feng shui energy can do horror or not? Then he's like, He just laughed, he just ha 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 ha. ha. He just laughed, <laughs> like, what the hell is that? Supposed <laughs> to be? Give me an answer. <laughs> I so I, I, until this day, I'm still like, question mark, uh. mm. I still question mark. Uh. But uh, I mean, I've I've since then met other masters. They are like, yeah, I think okay lah, you're okay, <laughs> okay lah. I think you're fine. Mm. Uh, but they never say no. They never say yes. Mm. They say, yeah, I think you're fine lah. You're fine. Uh, so I guess uh, we'll just keep working on until maybe you see one day uh, no more uploads uh, like a rough <laughs> ending. Uh, then <laughs> sorry uh, guys. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's not just Funky Masters. I I can't remember that I told you this, but like yeah. the before we started working on Ghost Maps, um. <laughs> Carl's lecturer from school was uh, the author and the director Wesley Aruzu, and I went. He was to, on our show, also. Yeah, he was on. He was on an episode of Dead Air as well with Sophia okay. and Hakim, and I didn't know Wesley at the time. Since then, we've gotten to know each other, um, but I didn't know him at the time. So I went for one of his book signings, mm. and Carl had told me that he was his lecturer. So this is the first time I met Wesley. Um, Put the book in front of him, got autograph, and I was like, "Hey, um, Wesley, I'm I'm actually working with, uh, one of your former students." And he's like, "Oh, which one?" I was like, "Oh, Carl Ong." Without missing a beat, Wesley just looks up at me and goes, "Horror, right?" <laughs> like, yes. Yeah. 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 That was yeah. something you've always, I mean, uh, were no interested la. in. No la. No. Uh, when when we, uh, we made the first short film together, it was not horror. Yeah, of course not. Yeah. It was it was. <laughs> <laughs> something I've seen else. that John film. <laughs> yeah, so I loved like, it. <laughs> I, I loved it as well. But like, I'm, I, I mean, like, you, you know, like when, I think you, you just deviate law towards that. I, I think yeah, it's, if, even through my years in film school, it's, it's you just somehow go to horror. Mm. My Friday Here project was a horror short film, which I lens, I shot it. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I guess it's all fated. I I need to ask the question now. How many subscribers do we need? For you all to upload that short oh, film, okay, not la. <laughs> that, that short film cannot la. Then you will see the collector already, uh, Like, yeah. oh, yeah. that's true, that's true. No, no. In my heyday, true. by the way, yeah. I was good looking. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you're still good looking, la. You're just older. Uh, okay, la. Okay. I think, okay, maybe like yeah, I, I don't know, like I don't know if you guys will stay until when you hit a million, which is like very, wow. very long. Maybe we hit a million. I, I do a 
censored version. Uh. So What's the can, name of the short film again? Ten thousand dollars. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was 17. Yeah. You know okay. What, you know what it means, right? Million subscribers, right? If we upload, we're going to have to kill the collector. <laughs> <laughs> Get those cupcakes ready. Yeah. yeah so, that was good though. I, I really enjoyed it. It, it, was, it was a really yeah, fun project, honestly. Fun. In fact, actually, so uh, another thing, I was actually acting in a lot of short films then. Yeah, I actually yeah. did act in a horror short film. <gasps> uh, you did horror with somebody else yeah. besides us? Don't say the name. People no. can find you. I don't think they can. I don't think it was ever uploaded. It was the time before YouTube and Vimeo and whatever. Mm. Anyway, so like, it actually wasn't. It wasn't horror as in supernatural horror, but it was like um, like uh, how do I put it? Like Slasher. there's there's a hero and a villain. Oh, I right, played the okay. villain, right? And like it was like an evil villain, and it became kind of very sinister style uh... of short film, right? And it was actually really really good. Now the thing is. I don't know where it went. I'm actually like I want to rewatch it because I remember mm. it was my best. Personally, I think my best of a performance in a short film. I I did okay. fourteen short films in three years in Bali. I'm, I'm glad you added the caveat of in a short film. In a short film. Yeah. Yeah. Not on a podcast. I, I love like that that uh, that film that we did. So it was really nice. Mm. Yeah. 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 So since then, I've always wanted to you know be in a horror film. No, yeah, make it happen. Yeah. 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 Maybe we yeah we make it happen. So uh, Christopher Lowe is asking mm. as is sharing once during a dive trip a novice diver had a cardiac arrest mm. the heart stopped and CPR was given and I was there telling the person not to go and when she regained conscious she told me she heard me calling mm. Mm. yeah so yeah well, I'm glad you were there yeah yeah interesting yeah. <clears throat> Danny, Danny's Eric Ohsan is saying watching slash listening while on the road. Good evening, all. Yeah, <laughs> Good I hope evening. you're. I hope you're driving in yes, one of yeah, those like yeah, creepy yeah. roads, like not, not Mandai Road, Old yeah. Tampines Road, or maybe uh, maybe if you're up north, right? Then it's uh, what's that road? Karak, Karak, uh, no Karak. I I was gonna say you know don't don't watch us while we're doing this. Just listen because you're driving. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, listening to the narrator in a non-narrator setting takes a getting used. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yeah. I, I think I think that's a very good question for all of y'all out there. How weird is this for you to hear him yeah. talk to us like a not a collector? Yeah, I mean the collector's voice is not my natural voice yeah, all the yeah. time. That's wow. not how I live I mean, life. <laughs> I mean if you live life like that, you'd be bad man, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why you be insufferable? Can you start kid from the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine like you in your everyday life? Auntie Nasilama? Bunkos. <laughs> Satu. <laughs> That's what we should do. We should get you to just record the most mundane yeah. like conversations but in the collector's voice. Yeah. And just like play as like ring tone or something. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. I I have one question for mm. for the collector. Mm. Who's your favorite character in Ghost Maps? You cannot say it yourself, huh? Well, my favorite character in Ghost Maps. Wow. Yeah. <gasps> There's quite a few lah. There's definitely a few. I remember one, um, very early episode actually. I don't remember the guy's name, mm. but it was um a person that played rugby. Oh, yeah. I don't know why you're uh, talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was a Malay character. Yeah. The person that played rugby. I mean, his his story was revolved around. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know. What you're I remember. I remember. It was an, that he person's was a, character that I liked a lot. He was a rugby player in school, right? Correct. Yeah. 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 We never. Re- Never did revisited that, no? I don't think so. No, yeah. no because I can't remember how, it was a fan every submitted sing, story. It, every single character. Yes, I remember it was a fan submitted yeah, story. They reoccurred. Usually they have a purpose. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. your disciple, your, your so called disciple, yeah. Alice, Keith, they all had a purpose. Mm-hmm. Father yeah. Aloysius. Yeah. Um, there was one guy, uh, the, the, the one, the, the security guy one. Oh, um, I want to say, oh, oh, three generations. Three generations is yeah. my one of my favorite characters as well. Oh, I love it. Definitely. And of course, my favorite voice to do was the old man. Uh, my boy! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. What was his name? He has so much oh, what fun. What was his name? Um, um, uh, it's some old Augustine. 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 Yeah, I love Augustine. Hey, my boy! <laughs> come on, let him do it. Come on, come on, do the voice. My boy! <laughs> Let me tell you a story. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That's definitely fun. Hmm. Yeah. 
that actually does lead me to one other question. Not one other question, but another mm. question. Is there anything that you've wanted to do with Ghost Maps? Like a type of story or a type of, of voice or anything like that that you haven't done yet? Mm. I mean, um, so my experience with audio horror mm. uh, before Ghost Maps, of course, was definitely like, like I think one of the more, definitely more popular uh, once in Singapore, at least, was definitely Mystery Jump Doblas. Yeah. Mm, right? So, yeah. Mystery Jump Doblas was actual, uh, was on a radio station and yeah. he would, uh, what's his name? Casey. Yeah, DJ Casey. So, DJ Casey is a, is a Malay. Um, this was back you know, in the day. La. Yeah, back in the day. Now he, he has his own still, thing. Yes, he's, he's but he's no longer thing. under, yeah, yeah. They, they changed host so already. Previously, it was like live on air, yeah. Yeah. you know, then on he the would radio. Narrate, uh, yeah. He would narrate it. It's really good. And, yeah. it's, li- and it's at midnight. Mm. And the way he did it, was definitely uh, a style I liked, mm. right? So he was very good at, you know, building up, being very dramatic. And his style was actually where people were just right to the, the station mm-hmm. and he was just, you know, retelling the story. So basically somebody would write in the letter and be like, hey, Casey, uh, you know, uh, it was, this thing happened to me. I was actually with a friend and this person actually just writing a ghost story mm. to him and he's just narrating it and yeah. adding commentary. Yep. And yep. I liked it a lot because I love the whole fan interaction thing yeah. because the story wasn't from him. It wasn't pre-written. Mm. It wasn't curated in a sense. And he's just trying to share what this person has told him to mm. everybody else. And, you know, he was very respectful with the stories. Yeah. He would be... And he would add, you know... Sometimes it's funny. Sometimes it's actually makes it scarier. Mm. He did it very, very well, especially mm. on air. So that was a style I liked. And I, I know we never did it, something like that. Something like that. Uh, you know, and it's, it's super dramatic sometimes. Mm. You know, we are quite uh, more chill, more somber. Yeah. Mm. You know, we, we prefer atmospheric mm. kind of quality rather than jump scares and, yeah, you know, something like that. But that is definitely a style I wouldn't mind exploring. Hmm. Yeah. So if you guys have, you know, full length stories, write to us, you know, maybe we could do, you know, a, a retelling where we don't actually mm. rewrite a story and we just, you know, read out a fan story. Taking mental yeah. notes now. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean po- possible. I think uh Casey's style is is very radio. La. At that point mm. it's very radio. And then he was he he his diaphragm oh, voice is like and then he was like he was then he he because he got the sound board, right? Then he was like, push, then he got the sound effect. Uh, yes, yes, then yes, he's like, yes. oh then I get it. Because I I my Bahasa is not good, but mm. I can understand it to a certain degree. Mm. So I've heard it before live. Yeah. And when he did the sound effect, man, yeah, he's different. No, in when fact, you're driving, oh. in fact, he was so popular, people used to leave the house to get in the car at midnight just to listen to him. Mm. Mm. You know? I said like, hey, let's go. Like literally, it's like 11.30 and my mom and my stepdad at the time in, was like, hey, you want to go on a ride because we just want to be driving and listening to DJ yeah. KC at midnight. You know, just to tune in to Mystery Jump Doblas. And that was fantastic. Who would do that? Like the kind of power you have to yeah. attract an audience at midnight, you know, to just do nothing and just listen to you. Mm. And that was powerful stuff. He did it so well. Like to me, he was an inspiration until today. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it is like, how to say, uh, like, uh, it's the community. La. Yes. It's the yeah. community. Yes. I mean, that's why we appreciate you guys a lot. I, I know that our community is not as large in Singapore. It's based in Singapore, but we have beyond Singapore, some US, with some Australians and stuff. So, so uh, it's not as big as a radio channel, but I really appreciate the support. We mm. hope that one day we can get that level also. La. Like, I'm not asking you guys to drive at night to listen to us. <laughs> but I'm saying like maybe we can like do an impromptu like meet up. You know, I think that would be fun mm. because uh the, the Chinese side of things, uh the 927 uh then his shoes also similar. He did mm. a impromptu live. He said, okay, tonight after our because they air at 11 p.m. live. Right, right, right. Then they end at 12. They say 12 30, we're gonna be at Hopa Villa. Mm. Let's make it happen. And they did. They went wow. Hopa Villa, they did a live session, like a ghost. Wow. session and then they somehow managed to get the Hoppa Villa guys to open for them yeah by the way Hoppa Villa for non-Singaporean listeners is uh, basically uh, it's a cultural site it's a cultural site but it depicts the 18 levels of hell in the Chinese culture mm. so it's very gore and apparently it's very haunted because yeah. it, it depicts hell mm. so there's spirits that linger there now, oh. they, now they even have a hell museum <laughs> There, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I haven't been back since because it, it did a quite a big renovation. Right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I think that's the, the Hell Museum the, got the coffin and, and stuff. Yeah, right? mm-hmm. you don't need to go there, you go Lim Chu Kang. 
Go to the Chocho Gang Cemetery. <laughs> that one real. That one real one. Yeah, which, which we we are slowly inching. Remember our promise to our listeners? Mm. Uh, 10,000 on all platforms. Mm. Instagram, YouTube. Uh, you, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Not to go TikTok. Uh, yeah, TikTok already hit already. Oh, yeah, right. so, <laughs> so we all hit 10,000, then we'll do a live stream uh, dead air in an actual cemetery with guests. Oh, with our friends from Longkang Kitties, uh, our friends from, uh, I guess, I think Stranger Danger also won. Uh, uh, Teddy from A Briefcase. Uh, so we all go there and uh, talk ghost stories. Don't worry, we'll protect you guys. Why? Maybe we'll get like the... Why, the... Did, I, why did I promise to do <laughs> this? Hey, a lot of people, like, how, how many people he wants? Yeah? How about we secret. just don't go to the cemetery? <laughs> It's like it won't even feel scary. It's like all eight of us sit around at one corner, then we can just stop. Like I think that's not scary anymore. Eh? I don't know. Uh, they still they still outnumber us. La. <laughs> no la. You know actually that, no la. You know there's actually a theory is that actually cemetery right during hungry ghost month mm. or it's usually the safest. Oh, because they're all out and about. They are all out and about. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> everybody leave their house. It's safe one. Yeah, yeah so. I never really understood why cemeteries actually are the haunted places. Because most of the time, you go to like where your, you know, your most remembered memory mm. or, you know, the place of your death. Mm. But the cemetery is like so yeah. far away for what? Like yeah. nobody's there. No, nobody's the, haunt. It, actually, the cemeteries, the spirits that reside in the cemeteries are the ones that are at peace, no? Yeah, perhaps. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Or uh, the people whose favorite place and they were alive was <laughs> cemetery. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, don't talk about like the entities like Kaka or this, they're on different. Mm. I'm talking about like just normal spirits, right? Mm. Um, yeah, I, 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 I would like to believe that they are just there chilling, they're, they're not mm. really doing anything. Yeah, okay, so uh, <laughs> now they're saying terrifying of my siblings and I would listen. With our late mum. Mm. Oh, ter- terrifying AF. Yeah. Uh, yeah I think yeah. Uh, Mystery Jam. Mystery Jam. Yeah. Mystery yeah. Jam yeah. yeah. is yeah, it's yeah. next level. It's uh, not Jam, it's Jump. Jump. <laughs> jump means hour uh. or, or clock. <laughs> Sorry, la. I don't speak the language. Jam, Mystery Jam is the stuff that you put on there. <laughs> okay. Jump. 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 Okay. Yeah. Jump. Okay. Mm, WSA say, love you guys. Always your number one fan. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, actually, right. Have you ever, ever, ever uh, thought of like revealing your face? Yo, well, it's up to you. <laughs> no lah, but professional, very well, professional. I know, I, I, I get, I get that you, you respect our opinion. Yeah. Um, it's, it's like just one day. Just no, like, I think now, no. now I do one. No, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Last time, I mean, like first few episodes in, I think it would, I would have preferred it. But now we've built so much tension, I just want to keep it. Let's see how long this can go. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you like, reveal your face and everybody's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, sure. So, so the, the number, I mean, the number one guy who has done it for years is Russell Lee, la, right? Mm-hmm. Well, <clears throat> guy singular. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he has come out and said that he's just a regular guy and he has no intention of, but it's like, it's a whole team of ghostwriters, right? No pun intended. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. He, he said he, he also admitted it, but yeah. he says that mostly it's him, but, and to him, this is just, a hobby. Mm. Hobby la. I mean, I, I don't want us to be a hobby only la, but, yeah, la. but he says that he enjoys doing it and he don't want to break the illusion. Mm. Yeah. And he's, he feels that his ego is not that big to the point where he feels that he needs to show his face. Yeah. But I, I I don't judge that. I mean, even if people want to show their face, that's fine la, like, right? Um, but yeah. I guess it's the, the illusion, right? Yeah. To me, I think the only time it would make sense for me to show my face is that if we adapt it to yeah. like an actual live thing or we do a film of yeah. some sort. If it's just going to stay as an audio format, then yeah. there's no point, right? As in like, it, it doesn't add anything <clears throat> for you to see my face. I'd rather, you know, you have whatever imaginations that you have and you can have a collector for everybody. As in like a different collector individually for everybody mm. that's listening. Mm. You know, so I, I prefer that. There's, it's not necessary right now. And I actually want to see how long we can take this. That's quite an audition you had for the film adaptation. Okay, yeah. yeah, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, I mean, if, if, if we don't cast him for the film edition, that would be... <laughs> yeah. That's a dick move. Like, it's like, it's like, hey, you guys doing a film? You, yeah. you really, really no? wanted to eat the cupcakes, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I am not going to lie. And this will ruin the surprise, but if we do have a film adaptation, that's exactly what I'm telling you. <laughs> I was like, sorry, man, we're not casting you. He's just not right for the part. It's something about your voice. Uh. It's a bit... 
it's a bit too high pitch. Doesn't like, really fit. No, then he, 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 you, can't, you, you can't see him, right? Then he every day buy a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the shitty kind. It's the dollar store kind. <laughs> <laughs> How much was the cupcake? Expensive. No, no one, one. Yeah, expensive. Three, um, four dollars. Yeah, tell me the price. Lah. I four can't dollar. remember. Four dollars, one. Yeah, around there. Wow. Expensive. Wow. Yeah. Okay. How, I, how was it? Fantastic. <laughs> Maybe more than four dollars because it's a box of six. I think I spent like twenty five bucks. We, we try not to swear. We, we try not to swear on the show, but you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. The gloom like Oh, oh, <laughs> come on! You didn't need to specify to the gloom malaka. You know I love gloom malaka. But you really like sugar. Like twenty five dollars oh, yeah. for six sugar. I didn't eat all the cupcakes by myself. No, I know, but well, like, you suddenly didn't share them with us. <laughs> no, the twenty five dollar is like. For six, uh, it's like, I don't know. Uh, it's very hard to justify. Uh. Good quality. I'm, okay, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure they are. Like, as much as I wanted to kill him at that point in time, I, I do understand paying good money for solid cupcakes. So, no, no. I, Should I, I shout out the cupcake creator? No, wait, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> let's, see what, let's see whether they'll be a sponsor. Yeah, yeah, maybe we tag them. Uh, and then they, yeah. they, 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 they hey, you want some <laughs> <laughs> ghost map <laughs> things? <laughs> ghost map <laughs> things. Cupcakes. So and then you, we make this like a gag, right? So, <laughs> so, so you won't fight anymore. You won't fight over the cupcakes. Uh. Let me me give you some cupcakes. Yeah, we should approach that for Halloween. Okay. Maybe we should. Like, yeah. Okay, so would, have you ever done like um exploring? Oh, as in ghost exploring. Like go, yeah, go yeah, like last, haunted. Yeah, yeah. Last time when especially during Chalet. Oh. So uh again, it's a very Singaporean thing actually. <laughs> uh there was a period of time between secondary school and um you know your tertiary education, lower tertiary. Where you know in Singapore at least you go to junior college or you go to a polytechnic, yeah. um, you know, and there are other options of course. But anyway, so there was a time between um, uh, after doing your O levels and then you know moving on. So before you get your O level results, a lot of the times you would go to a chalet. Mm. So a chalet uh, in Singapore, the main place to go is all the way in the east in Pasiris, mm. right? We've had multiple episodes in Pasiris, where this is where Old Changi Hospital is, mm. right? And so people would book a, a, a chalet. It's kind of like a rather large house and then it'll make like a party thing and it will book overnight bicycles to mm. go and explore mm. right so we'll take the bicycles we'll cycle up to Red House mm. to Old Changi Hospital mm. uh, yeah so we did that but again only at that age I never did it again so right. it was only that time right. about 16 years did old. you see anything? no at that time nothing and I honestly at that time we were just carrying each other there was only, there's yeah. always one guy saying, yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah everybody chow I think I saw something I saw something like yeah, I saw something uh, yeah. like, like there's always one guy. Yeah. Okay, I got good. I got sorry uh, for you guys. I just remembered. I think we should adapt this to Ghost Maps. It's quite messed up. This one. Mm. So, uh, it was a uh, class chalet. Uh, I think this was in college. Uh, art schools. Uh. So uh, when I was studying film that time, we had like a uh chalet thing, but it was at uh the Changni Loyang chalet, mm. yeah. not Loyang Changni chalet. So the Changni chalet, there's quite a few. The one that we stayed is uh, near Chalet M. Chalet M is a very famously haunted one uh, because there were certain terrible incidents that happened there, which I will not speak about. So it's in the same cluster. It's just right underneath the hill, which is Old Changi Hospital. Changi Hospital is in the, on the hill itself. So it's very near to the sea. So it's just partying and all, everybody getting drunk, uh, being stupid teenagers, uh, mm. kids. Uh. Then uh, I had a friend who was like, eh, hey, Let's go Old Changi Hospital. I don't know why for some reason I stopped them. I said, hey, don't, nah, bro. Because I, I I done it already and I know how dangerous it can be. And I did it in mm. the early, the late 2000s. So like 2009, I already went in already. Mm. So that one, last time, they don't have fans, but now got fans. Uh. Then I told them, don't go. And a, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, art school kids, they were international students. So they didn't know better. That's yeah, it. Yeah, they don't, yeah. don't know. Then eventually, because I don't go out, uh, because I'm the one that is quite familiar with it. Then other than this other guy, lah, then you know, like then they were like, hey, party, party people don't go. Then I was like, don't know. I see I really feel like weird uh, this chalet that then uh we continue drinking. There was like about close to 20 of us. So it's quite a lot of people, not mm. so not scary. But all the surrounding chalets all empty. Oh, okay. Yeah, so or the vibe. Uh, then uh I had this friend who's like at that point. She is very troubled with relationships. So she got a lot of issues. Lah. Mm. 
you know like teenagers lah, like oh listen to my chemical romance oh life sucks <laughs> the world sucks you know that kind of thing okay then you're in your art school ah oh, the yeah. world sucks i think i know this person right no you don't know, oh, you, know. know. <laughs> you never met this person oh, okay yeah then uh then she 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 went to the bedroom to sleep with her boyfriend then boyfriend oh, okay then the boyfriend is the guy who instigated the whole old Chang Nia, but he's not scared of ghosts, one. so he's like, uh, whatever. The two of them just slept uh, in the master room. So nobody slept except for the two of them. So they went in and sleep, right? Mm. And suddenly, uh, she came out at about maybe 4 a.m. So we were still drinking, yeah. chilling, drinking. Then she came out, she's like, cow. Then I look, wow, this, this girl looks off. Uh. She's like, cow, I'm going to the beach. They were like, oh, okay. I didn't think too much. She just walked out. Because yeah. the chalet got direct access to the beach. But it's yeah. not even the beach. Eh. It's the broad walk. The Changi yeah. broad walk. Then after that, you can go down to the beach. She went to the Changi broad walk. She was just staring. Then after that, she started climbing to the beach. Mm. And it was low tide. So you can go. Then I was like, wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. Why are you going? Then nobody mm. stopped. Everybody was either buzzed. They were yeah. like half asleep. That kind of thing. Then I, I grabbed her. Uh, and she was, she was quite a small size girl. Uh, so I grabbed her. Then I was like, hey, what the hell are you doing? You're going to the sea. I said, yeah, they're calling me to go. It's like the oh. it's the very innocent kind. She's just like, yeah, they're calling me to go and join them. I need to join them. I hear their voices. They're calling oh. me. And this girl, right? Like she, I mean, her problems aside, I think she's quite a normal person. She She's not depressed or anything. She's just like normal. La. And she, she's not even Singaporean. She's mm. Malaysian. Mm. So so the, 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 there's no reason for you to do that. La. Very out of character. Then, then I just eh, slap, slap out. I wanted to slap her. Because yeah. yeah. I say like, the, there's a saying like, when someone's possessed, you slap the person. But I, I didn't laugh. I said, eh, you snap out of it. Wait, 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 wait. Snap out of it. Then after that, I go and call the boyfriend. I say, bring her back. I think she rub out already. Mm. Like she get, she got something. Mm. Then uh, I, I didn't ask after that because it's not my business. What? No, I, didn't, I didn't ask what happened to her. But I had a very clear feeling that there were things around us at that night. Mm. And I, I didn't know where I get the balls. Uh. Like, the ball suddenly come. Uh. <laughs> like, come. Uh. Like, you imagine uh, your friend running towards the... Walk, yeah. Okay, not running. Walking towards the sea. Yeah. And then you just somehow climb over the ledge, go into the, the sand, step on the sand at night at 4 a.m. Mm. and grab her. Alone. Eh. Mm. I was alone. Eh. Then all of them, they were like maybe 100 meters away. Mm. So if she, oh, far. she pulled me into the sea, eh, mm. and then that's it for me also, bro. That. Yeah. So, yeah. Lah. So, Interesting. I, I don't know. the next if... morning, you should remember. No. Oh, she don't remember. I say, hey, bro, you remember last night what you do or not? Mm. Yeah, we were eating McDonald's. You know, after Shelley yeah, eat yeah, McDonald's, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, you remember what you do or not? That's like, huh? I don't, I don't think. <laughs> I, I was asleep, but... That's like, Lucky yeah, your I friend never do crossfit. I never see her. Uh. <laughs> never do crossfit. Yeah, you're not confirmed. Okay, pull him into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I was at least half a body taller than her. Like. She's mm. a, quite a very short girl. Like. Short mm. and small girl. So at least I can grab her. Yeah, yeah. But that was just weird. Mm. Like. Yeah, for, I mean, I just remember. I don't know if I told this story. I'm sorry if I repeated this story. But yeah, it was weird. Mm. I mean, the entire area, the chalet is there. Almost every... Almost every time somebody does the chalet, something something like this happens. Mm. It always feels so frequent. The area is definitely uh, a hard area. Yeah. Feng Shui there is off. Mm. Very off. Yeah, that's why I, I, I don't know. Uh, they want to redevelop that area. What do you mean by the Feng Shui is off? Donna? Do you know like exactly what about it is like? The, the massacre of the Chinese. I mean, yes, but like I thought it was like <laughs> the function, like the positioning, and I, I don't know about that. I'm not a yeah. function master, but I would say that if the if there is a massacre there, then there's yeah. the should. Yeah, we talking about Suk Ching. Yeah, that was done in Changi. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. You never read your history book. No, I didn't know where. <laughs> I know it happened. I didn't know it was in Changi. <laughs> oh, it just happened. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't know where. La. And now you all know. Yeah. And now you all know the least favorite subject of the collector when he's <laughs> no. in secondary school. No, but like, like, yeah, it, they have Chang Changi had a bulk of it, like. Yeah. Uh, Pongo also. But Chang Ni had, I think, the one of the most. Right, right, right. Yeah, okay. it's, it's brutal lah. But I think it's just the area. It could mm. be just the area also. Maybe the area, uh, I've I've heard and I've seen some interviews that Feng Shui Master say, oh, uh, the, the energy there is different. Mm. Uh, the, the, the yin energy is too high. Like, something about the earth lah and the positioning. Mm, 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 mm. Then plus the fact that there's so many death there, then I guess, mm. yeah. I, I remember reading like Russell Lee, one of Russell Lee's book. It was quite crazy, yeah. Uh, that one, that, that story, quite crazy, uh, But I loved it. Uh. It's basically a story about a pilot. 
realizing that he cannot find the landing area in Changi Airport. Mm. Then he keep rounding the plane. Because mm. whenever he tried to land, right, all he sees is skulls on the, oh. the runway. Oh, he sees what? Skulls. Skulls, skulls. on oh. the runway. Right. Not like skulls. Right, so he right. would like, siam ah. So I don't know lah. Because if, if that thing actually happened, they would have been incident not. Of course. It would have been reported lah. Or maybe it's not as serious like It was dramatized lah. Mm. But I, I do know of like, weird things are in, in Changmi area. La. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, Old Changi Hospital already is such a, you know, uh, uh, ground for, for yes. so much of these things. Have happen. you... I never go. Have you... It's okay. not even there anymore. No, 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 as in like, have you... Uh, I mean, a bit of an army talk. La, sorry. La. Chang, mm. You talk about Changmi very hard not to talk about the Kong, right? No, I, army, I never right? Tukong, have, right. Have, okay, yeah, okay. But have you booked in late at night? No. no. Not well, new, I mean, not... When you say late at night, you mean like, 2359 la. Yeah, no, no. no. Last la. no. So I booked in late before. Like 10, 11. Mm. Hey, creepy bro. I mean, I've done guard duty at the yeah. ferry terminal. But when you book in, you're one of the last few to book in la. yeah. Like for specifically Tekong, right? Like you go, Tekong, Pulau Tekong is basically the military island. What, the island that we use to train uh, our conscripts la. So you have mm. to take a book from Changmi. Everything happens at Changni one. Uh. <laughs> so imagine if a man go to die. <laughs> that sounds like a great motto for the neighborhood, but everything it's so happens screwed up. In it's everything like, happens in Changni. It's our fingers. Yeah. <laughs> imagine you're the only person uh, sitting at the, the, the jetty wait, waiting for, well, not the only, like, one of the few. You get these creepy vibes. Uh. I think Changni at night has got this creepy vibe. The, the funny thing is when I've done guard duty at the ferry terminal, I found it very relaxing. It's, it is, but yeah. there's a undertone of Sinister, I, yes. yeah. sinisterness. It's very sinister, like mm. the undertone, because you're you're probably one of the few. Because nobody goes to that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that the last part, that one is towards yeah. the end of the Changni. Then after it goes straight, right? It's the Changni Beach, the other side of the Changni Beach, then Tanamera Ferry Terminal. Mm. Mm. All of there, right? Usually at night, nobody on. Like it's close to empty. Uh, to be fair, also, I I think the reason why I also was quite I found it quite peaceful. So it's like who we have, I can't remember who we were having this conversation with. Might have been you, but somebody was saying like, oh, the, the good thing about Wayne is that he's very ignorant of these kind of things. Mm. And I'm like, yep, I like to stay away. Thank you very much. I think it was me who said it. It was you and some, we were having a discussion with somebody else. Yeah. You, yeah. you are, you are, which is yeah. good. It's and like I, you walk past, right? And then got one leg like, floating. Like, he didn't, he won't even see it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I remember wearing my specs, bro. <laughs> my eyesight very bad, uh, you know, old age and everything. Oh, my boy. My boy. <laughs> That's right. That character was based on me. <laughs> the old man. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Bella Licious is saying, hello, first time listening in interesting story about the Changi Airport runway cover in Skulls. Mm, yeah. Yeah, Hi, I, Bella. I, there is a, there is, I think there is a certain terminal. I, I read up there's a certain terminal that, that is for uh, repatriation of uh, bodies. Mm, right. Okay. Yeah. So you know that flights, right? No yeah. matter what airlines you take, right? Sometimes there's, there's a, a coffin. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, I, I, I guess. Uh, but it's the workers that say, oh, if they feel very creepy, uh, that kind of thing. Mm. I have stayed over at Old Changi. Uh, I have stayed over at Changi, uh, Changi Airport, like just, mm. just to start study. As mm. a kid, as it's a thing when you, Wait, you study over why, why study. You don't oh, study, you don't study. Oh, you don't study okay. you're I thought you're doing something else. No, no, no. Right. <laughs> you, you you tell your parents, oh, I go Changi Hospital to study. Go Changi, Changi, Changi Airport. Airport. Changi, Sorry, Changi, Airport. Changi, Airport. <laughs> Changi Airport. I go Changi Airport to study. I I, I go with my friends. It's an excuse. You just want to go there overnight with your friend, yeah, just yeah, chill yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Many people are going to be confused, as in, especially our non-Singaporean listeners. Why the hell are you going to an airport to study? It's, it's a it's, thing. It's a thing. <laughs> it was because a thing. A- aircon is free. It's 24, it's 24 hours. hours. It's a safe safe place. It's yeah. one of the safest yeah. places in Singapore, there's, actually. There's places to plug your laptop. Uh, oh, true. Free, free electricity. Is it, is it still a thing, though? Do, do it's still a thing, for sure. Young people still... Oh, my God. I think Starbucks. Like, uh, they go Starbucks. Right, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Be- sure. Be- Bella is actually saying, yes, uh, she used to be a stewardess. Uh, mm. There's this one toilet in T3 that's quite keras. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. So keras is the is the Malay word for hard. And yeah. it's also uh, what you use to explain uh, a place that is dirty. Or, oh, really? Or, yeah, keras. Which is basically, you know, there's something. Like, many things happen there. Keras. Ah. Mm. Mm. Yes, it's hard. Uh, Bella, 
hantu.sg that's our website go to the contact form please tell us the whole story <laughs> tell us or you can just yes. share it now yeah, yeah, yeah share it now or, or, or on no, our Facebook page a, there's a disputing comment oh, Hong Fat Lee is saying toilets at Changi airports are really clean <laughs> I, to be fair I think physically means, yes yes yeah. spiritually yeah. Mm, I don't know I, I think uh, he, he rates the, the toilet <laughs> the happy smiley face <laughs> Changi airport always asks yeah. you yeah. he clicked which one? Hey, this one, the toilet bowl clean. Uh, press, uh. I press. To be fair, the, the, the rating system, I don't think there's like a ghost face down there. Like, happy, sad, angry, ghost. Skull. Yeah. Skull. 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 Yeah. yeah, but like, you know like, <coughs> Changni Airport is is a very different Changni. Mm, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. As compared to like what's outside, right? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, like, I've always wondered, right? Like, imagine you're the security guard that need to do the border. You know mm. the airport they have like the yeah. fans, right? Imagine you need to drive around. Wow, it's a big area. Exactly. It's a very big area. It's creepy. And there's nothing there. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I've cycled the there's uh there's there's this uh cy- cycling yeah, thing. All the way past it's called East the Coast, right? Tanamera Coastal mm. Lane. Mm. It's damn long. It's very, very long. Yeah. So I did the whole thing mm-hmm. at night with, with my friends. Mm. Hey, it's creepy. Uh. Yeah. It's it's got the feels on. Uh. Yeah, but no, I I think people who work there they are like hey, whatever mm. this, uh, you're used to it already. Uh. Yeah. No, but honestly, some of the best stories come from people Ch- who Ch- not, not Chinese, <laughs> the people who work overnight <laughs> as in like the security yeah. guards, yeah. you know. No, it's a trend, right? Like, like yeah. uh the, our American counterparts, uh westernized counterparts, they usually do security guards, cops. Mm. Mm. It's quite uh quite good. Like one of our best uh, episodes, my my personal favorite is the three generation ghost stories, right? Mm. One of it is the there's this character with the third eye. He's a real guy. I've met him. Mm. It's a security guard, like uh like, the condo security guard. Uh, yeah, he works, yeah, he works for my dad. <laughs> so 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 he's a he's an actual security guard uh that that, that has the third eye. La. Mm. So uh yeah. So I will I will go and ask him for stories. La. Then mm. yeah. And uh, of course, the the one of the characters that 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 saw felt the ghost with him was my dad lah. Mm. My dad didn't see it, but he said he can feel lah. Like the 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 spirits there lah. Mm-hmm. Then he just asked lah. He he bring him up eh, with him because he got third eye. I say okay, you tell me where got ghost. Then he walked all the way in because it's an empty unit. He walked mm. all the way into the dormitory unit and then he walked to the toilet and walked to the kitchen. Then he said, "Where's the ghost behind you?" Wallow, eh. <laughs> but then just stunned. then he felt a gust of wind. Then he's like, oh wow. Then he yeah. yeah. This was actually in the story, no? We, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. I went to the unit. Mm. Yeah, because I I used to work with my dad, right? So so I actually went to the 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 dormitory in question, and I went to the unit. It really had the red lantern outside. Mm. It was creepy, bro. Like even in the at four p.m. in the day, right? Mm. You can really feel like wow. You walk past right, your hair stand. It's mm. a woof. Yeah, then then the, the the security guard that brought me there was another guard. They said, Yeah, this unit we don't like. Uh. Mm. We don't like this unit we don't like. <laughs> then I said, it is on the on the other uh, hantu run, right? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This <laughs> one we don't like. <laughs> so I mean, if the guy's got the third eye, it's not yeah. like you're gonna No, no, this this guy didn't have the third eye. It's a different yeah. security. Yes, yeah. He just said he don't like uh, yeah. but it really very clear. Uh, like, yeah. like, like he, you get it, like you get, he, the he, he get yeah. it, you get it, you get it. Yeah, yeah, but like the yeah, you're right, lah. The people who were in the night, underrated. Like we had this like very heated discussion, not us, lah. Like in within our comments and our one of our TikToks where uh the guests from uh, the, Night Safari, the, yeah, the Night Safari one, oh, they were um, like debating. It was like one is like, oh, there's no such thing as ghosts. Then the other is like all the ex Night Safari guests. They were like, like, like saying that hey, we, we really the 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 Miss P thing in the tree is real. Like we really. Mm, have Miss mm. P in Night Safari, that kind of thing. Like how you say we have Miss P in Night Safari as if it's part of the attraction. <laughs> and on your right. No, they are su- <laughs> bro, they are supervisor, bro. <laughs> the supervisor very frightening. Yeah, I really don't get it. Yet. Like I mean, as a kid, uh, I will be I will I will love to, to take the, the tram and then yeah. just go. Uh, I will take the back one, the last the, at the back seat. Uh, I will love it. Now I scared, bro. I see in the middle. Yeah, I, I see in the front. <laughs> <laughs> the front one still got people. Uh, got I the know. driver. Uh. Yeah, correct. That's the same place. Yeah, uh. correct. <laughs> because the driver run, I run. <laughs> I have to make a confession right now. Yeah. I've never been to the Night Safari. <laughs> never been? I've never been to well, the Night Safari. Feel, Why? Just... No, I just never been to the Night Safari. It's so nice. I love okay, it. So I nice Safari, if you want to do like a horror thing, right? Yeah. Then you can look us up. 
You don't even need you. You don't even need to pay us. You just. Work. I mean, it would be nice. No, we're just, gonna scare guests away. That's no you, problem. No, you, you just work. No, you you get more guests, bro. You just work with us. Then you just put us in the in the in the track. I will see on the right side. You see on the left. You see in the middle, lah. Mm. Uh, then I will take camera. Then we just. We, we should do a special because the night safari is tram specifically has you know as in the the person who's narrating and telling you everything. Yeah. We should do like a script. Yeah. For oh, horror, yeah. night safari uh, they're, they're, travel. They're on cover, won't get on. They'll, they'll say, hey, no, I, we, we, we. All, all of this, right? All of this, right? It's because they just can't believe that I've never been to the night safari. <laughs> and they want to rectify it. I, no, I've heard good things. Yeah. I've heard good things. <laughs> never got no, around to it. What good things? So that it's actually a fun and interesting yeah. experience. But I've just never been. No, you, have you tried on the food? On, you're walking at night, bro. I've never even <laughs> been. <laughs> never been. What tram? What walk? All, <laughs> all I've never been. Have you tried the walking? Yeah, I did both. The walking one scarier. No lah. I went there for the horrors, bro. Okay, like. You went there for the horrors. <laughs> I went there with my. I butt. went there to see the safari. <laughs> no, I went there. It's like, guys, how long can we last? Ah, uh? we walk yeah. like before we scare the shit out of ourselves right. because the the the. But the, there's always people. Like. No, not always. The oh. tram right doesn't come often. Like fifteen minutes one time. Yeah. So you will every ten to fifteen minutes then go one tram now. But yeah. usually it's nobody want to walk on. Lazy. Oh, uh. you're, you're walking on the road. Yeah. Or not actually the walking path. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, right, that's right, how you right, do it, bro. Right, right. Last that was like back we in the day, it. la. That's how we do it. Yeah. yeah. Like the, Them gangster, that's yeah. how we walk to yeah. 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 Because the proximity to Mandai. Yeah, yeah. 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 The proximity to that is like next level, man. Mm. So yeah. yeah. Mandai is another place. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Manda has a lot. <laughs> you know, without without the context, right? <laughs> Manda is another place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we know. There are a lot okay. of places. Yeah. So so for 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 our non Singaporean listeners, Mandai Road is actually um it's where the zoo is. is. It's the it's <laughs> where the zoo is and the night safari is and it's a lovely also, zoo. And also it is the road that uh most uh DCs in Singapore take. It's their last road. So the 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 hearse will Travel down Mandai Road, we then they will take a ride towards Mandai Columbarium, yeah. which is where we burn the disease lah, the I'm, body I'm, lah. I'm glad you added in the context because if not, people will be like, why would the dead body want to go visit the zoo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so that that road is uh quite many quite quite a lot of uh, weird things lah. And yeah. one of our stories actually happened uh, Yes. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we did. Who are? Oh, um, actress, actress. It was the. Actress from Closing Time. Oh, really? Uh, I, I can't remember. Cynthia. 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 No, I can't remember. It was Cynthia's was, story. Did you tell the story? So oh. the Mandai, you know, the ra- racing story. Then yes. he crashed, right? Yeah. That was her. That, no, that, it wasn't the... We, we didn't... No, write. that was her story. Her story. But oh, the, okay. the real story is... um, Someone saw... uh, Like she was... she was Because actress, right? She's doing uh late night shoots. Mm. So they were shooting at this particular bus stop with the backdrop. The, bar, the bus stop... Is exactly at where the long road, right? The, the the road towards the columbarium, the one street road, two 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 lane only. That road, right? Yeah, that bus will pass by this uh bus stop. Then uh, they f- it is facing the reservoir, so it's a very nice scene. Mm. <laughs> so they were filming some shots there, and then they someone saw a bus that didn't exist. Right. The bus for the date, lah. Right. So there was one guy who saw a bus. Then he was uh, asking the rest of the crew. If I remember re- uh, correctly, then the crew was like, no, la, no, I didn't see any bus. It's like, we should think how we would not yeah, know yeah, there's a bus, right? You hear the bus. Well. You will mm. hear it, we will cut, right? And he's like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> this is Monday. <laughs> yeah. I remember doing a shoot there uh, for a client, like commercial stuff. La. Then at night? No, no, no. In oh, the okay. day, in the day, in the day. Uh, then there were a lot of us. Like, because mm. eh, you're shooting cars, right? So there is a you need to get the perfect take for the shot to, to show the car's power. Right? So we had to wait a lot of hers. I I think for one shot, right? We had to wait for seven hers. So that's how wow. much like dead people pass by wow. within the span of one, two hours only. Hang on. So you can imagine how much. Do do I know about this project? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So 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 then that then then this this makeup artist that I work with wow, a bit rabak, uh, this guy. He never censored his mouth on. He said, mm. Wow, so many. Uh. <laughs> okay. He said, Wow, so many uh, happening on uh, this road. And it's like, mm. Bro, just shut up, uh, bro. <laughs> the ooh, so many. Okay. Happening on uh, this road. That, that one a bit mm. too popular. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. are you guys doing here? <laughs> I, I'm not close with him, la, but, mm. but 
But I did say that, hey, you know where you are, right? <laughs> and then he goes, yeah, la, near the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you last week with my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, just before we continue with all the stories and everything, just reminding everybody, we have the collector here, mm. the Ghost Maps collector, mm. um, the star of the show uh, for... 100 episodes yes. and, and four, still going strong. Four years. Oh, going 100, five already. By 101. Yeah. Well, actually, minus some of the episodes I'm not in. Yeah. yeah let's not do math. Okay? <laughs> you might be in a dream. Yeah, let's not do math. Um, if you all have any questions, any comments, anything you want to say to him, yeah. now's your chance. Wait. He's right here. Wait, the comments he can and the respond questions. to you with his hand. Yeah. But, you know, and also... Guys, this is like the, the rare... I think the rare one time that we're going to do live for a, a long time. Yes. The last time we did it was about a year ago. Yeah. So yeah, you you got to get we, this. We made the 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 special exception just for our hundredth episode and for our lovely collector over here. Yeah, Dennis is saying visually you have the collector's hands. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I can try and make a dog. No, I don't know how. Mm. <laughs> just like like that lah. Oh really? I guess. <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't know whether yeah, it's gonna yeah. work in shadow, but still butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> have you asked this question yet? Uh, not yet. Okay, so I, I was gonna I was gonna ask that. Yeah, actually. You ask, uh, so okay, um I'm sure you've had a lot of these, but what's the weirdest comment you've heard or read about your performance? <laughs> weirdest. Weirdest. Yeah, weirdest. Thing. Your definition of weird may vary to whatever it is. Just but, that just, just like yeah. Oh. Wow. Weirdest. Because okay, the one that we always hear <sighs> yeah. is that people fall asleep to your voice. Oh uh, yes, yes. Yeah, I yeah. don't think that's weird. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I've gotten used to that. I mean, I know. So, I mean, of course, some friends know that I'm the collector. Yeah. We, you've told people. <laughs> right. And many of them have said that they listen to me uh, at night and they fall asleep with my voice. Mm. I find that creepy. Not yeah. necessarily. Uh, to me now, it's quite normal. Um, because I I not I do the same not for my own voice, but for other people. I, w- I was about to say, it would have been a bit weird if it's like, oh, that sounds like me. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I, I remember early on um, talking about my accent. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I that's don't right. remember exactly what the comment was. Um, I, I think I do. Yeah, what was it? Somebody thought that you were very specifically yeah. British, British Indian. Indian. Yeah, yeah, British Indian. Not the brand, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's the brand? The, the, the brand of the clothing. British, British Indian. Indian? No, no. <laughs> I think that's the... I wouldn't say that's weird. But that's definitely very, a comment I remember. It's very specific. Yeah, it's very yeah, specific. Yeah. Uh, I'm not British nor Indian. <laughs> but well, yeah. that, that at least narrows it down a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Like, yeah. People start like doing their own, like, you know, the, the threat. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like you said, it's like, a, hmm, let's see where they can treat yeah. these face. And it is just trying to like, Google search my hand right yeah. now. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if somebody out there Google searched your hand and then found out who you were? That would be uh, very that, freaky. That would be a bit freaky. Yeah. A bit weird. I'm not known for my. Well, yeah, you, you never know. <laughs> You In never some know. circles, I could be known for my hands. You could be. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's the only weird comment yeah. I would say specifically about my voice. Yeah. I know I know I, I know there were some episodes where people I think maybe uh stumbled upon an episode, like the first episode that they heard and expected a different style of storytelling, I'm sure. Mm. You know? Uh, like I definitely saw at least in the earlier episodes, people saying that, oh, um, you know. Go listen to DJ KC. Yeah. And, you know, I'm like, I know who he is. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm not doing it like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's fine. You know. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it's many weird comments. Hmm. Yeah. Plot twist. Ladies and gentlemen, it's DJ KC. <laughs> <laughs> How yeah. weird would it have been? <laughs> that would have been really like, weird. It's DJ KC. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how DJ KC looks like. Why do I? <laughs> you Google that now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, this one we ask all our guests. La, these yeah. two questions. The mm. first one is, uh, what are some of your favorite horror movies, mm. books, mm. and even games? Wow. Okay. So, uh, I've, I've recently started to appreciate this genre of horror more. Mm. And that is the POV style of horror. Mm. The... I wouldn't say Blair Witch style. Oh, okay, yeah. But of course, Blair Witch is probably one of the first that started it. The found footage kind of thing, is it? Kinda. Yeah. But uh, the two movies that, to me, did the best 
is As Above, So Below, which oh. is a French, yeah, the French uh, one. horror movie about them exploring the catacombs of Paris. That's pretty scary. Yeah. It was, to me, one of my favorites. And of course, Rec, mm. REC, which is actually, you know, record, and that's Spanish. Mm. It's a Spanish. Only Rec 1 was really good. The rest is the Rec 2 and 3. The it's, English remake called. The, the I, know the, yeah, I know they did. I did. I don't think I watched it. The like, American I one was not bad, also. I haven't watched it either, but I can't, I remember that they re, they changed the title. To uh, I think Cam or I, I forgot already the name. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those two in that particular genre of horror are definitely my favorites. Mm. Like me, as I, I've watched Wreck multiple times. Me mm. and my girlfriend watched Wreck multiple times. Uh, as above, so below is just fantastic storytelling, and it's really freaky. Like that really scares me, and not mm. many things scare me without needing a jump scare. Wow, you know, uh, I would say uh, there are some Korean horror movies I love a lot. There's one I think it's called The Howling, mm. oh. right? Oh, that was so good. Um, and I mean, if for for English, I would still say the mainstream Conjuring series I do quite mm. like a lot. Um, the Nun two, even though Nun one was horrible in my opinion i actually think nun 2 is quite good i think nun 2 didn't get very good um reviews but i quite liked it do you think there's uh, none better than that one oh god <laughs> 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 too quick of that yeah uh, but yeah so that's the whole pov style is definitely my favorite genre have you seen um, gonjam as island korean oh yes 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 POV gonjam well. yes yes i love gonjam yeah, that gonjam was really great. good yeah, really very, very good. Yeah. Uh, and of course, another one of my favorites is actually zombie movies. Mm. I know it's not, mm. you know, supernatural horror, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it kind of falls within the horror category. I actually love it. Which one? Your favorite? I love a lot of them. I love almost every single yeah. zombie movie okay. I watch. See Resident Evil. See Resident Evil. See I'm Resident fine. Evil. I don't have a problem with Resident <laughs> Evil. I'm okay with Resident <laughs> Evil. It's not a favorite of mine. I don't think they're super bad movies. Okay, okay. What's your favorite? Uh, zombie movie. Yeah, if you can only choose one. I'm Legend. Mm. I can see why. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm legend definitely. Uh, oh, Train to Busan. Sorry. Train to Busan. Ah. Train to Busan okay. uh, was definitely one. Train to Busan 2 was what the heck? I always forget that was two. one hell of a shit show. Mm. I always forget this. I haven't yeah. seen 2 yet. It's horrible. Don't bother. No, that, that's oh, not 2. That's a prequel. Yeah, but it's like the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's supposedly. There's a racing one. Uh, yeah, 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 I don't yeah, understand. Yeah, it's, it's Train to Busan 1 was fantastic. Yeah, yeah fantastic. Mm. My favorite character was the guy who played Gilamesh. Oh, the, the big dude. Yeah, the ah, big yeah, Korean yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just punches everyone. Yeah. 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 Uh, what about games? Book, books, 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 and games. I don't really think I read a lot of horror. It's yeah, fine. I don't. I don't. Um, I'm trying to think, actually. I might have read some, but the name escapes me, honestly. Uh, games, horror games. Um, let me think because you are quite the gamer, right? I, I am quite a gamer, yeah. I, I don't play a lot of horror games right. specifically, but I would say the um, Phasmophobia series mm. is definitely good. Mm. Um, I love horror games where they don't allow you to fight back. Oh, okay. yeah, where it's all running. Ah, okay. you know, like Resident Evil is a horror game, but you know, you have guns, you can shoot, and all that. Right, and you know, you always feel like you can win, mm. but in a horror game that does not allow you to fight back, oh my god, those to me are the scariest horror games. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Interesting. Mm. So not Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Though very scary. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you play those bonus stages. You see how well Outlast. You... Outlast. Someone saying yeah, Outlast. I've heard of Outlast. I don't think I played Outlast. You can't fight. You can't really fight back, lah. Yeah. Yeah, you can't really fight back. Yeah. There's also um, oh what the heck was it called the descent something mm. Isn't yeah that well, a film no it's a game oh, okay. I believe so correct me if I'm wrong but yeah mainly there's a film called the descent yeah, as yeah, well. yeah I'm yeah. sure yeah but mainly yeah in terms of horror games is those that you cannot fight back mm. yeah yeah so uh, I mean UTL vlogs is asking what do you guys think of Gone Jam Haunted Asylum yeah fantastic I love it I think it was ahead of its time. Yeah. In fact, it kind of redefined the POV genre. It's, it's basically a story Agreed. about a bunch of people. They want to film a reality show. Yeah. That's the crux. That's yeah. how they made the mechanic work, which yeah. I thought was brilliant. And it was live. And people were watching it live. Yeah. And actually thinking that uh, whatever that was happening was live. like fake. Yeah. Right? For the show. Yeah. But actually they were going through everything is real. That was... Have you seen the medium? I have. The med... Is it the Thai one? Yeah. Mm. I watched it. The documentary. Yeah, documentary style. I 
don't really like it. Really? A lot of people do. Really? A lot of people really like it. I thought it was end. pretty brilliant though. I liked a lot of it until the end. I think the oh, end was yeah. a bit too weird. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I said, well, everybody's like a zombie. Yeah. Thing, what the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm saving it. Okay. But it also was, it started Have you seen slow. The Rope Curse? I watched the Taiwanese it one. for you. I don't like it. Also. No, no. Which one? The first one. You don't like that? No, okay. The second one. You should watch the second Do you say you watched it for him? For him because he told I told, to watch I told him. Right. He's yeah. a horror guy. Yeah. So I I, I, okay, you watch the second. Okay, oh. I try. I yeah. think... I made the mistake to also ask my girlfriend to watch it at the same time. She's very critical of horror films. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. So I think I should... If I watch it, I have to watch it by myself because I'm not going to... Because she's not going to watch it. <laughs> I think it's a taste. La. I think not many people can get into Chinese horror. It's mm. different. Mm. It's very, very different. I think Chinese horror is the same as uh, I might get fucking killed for this, but um, <laughs> Malay horror. Mm. In a sense whereby you have to be, you have to have a certain palette for it. It's mm. either you like it or you hate it. Mm. It's exactly, you have to understand the nuances. It's mm. not as universal. Like Korean horror, right, is you quite universal. Actually, it's quite yeah. universal. That You don't need to understand certain nuances. Japanese horror, debatable. Yeah. Certain films, right, certain some certain films from the Ringu trilogy a bit weird one. Mm-hmm. You you either get it or you don't. I also say with Japanese, uh, gore is very much a big part yeah. of, of the horror. Yeah. You know, not not in many other uh, Asian style. They like to play with sound. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Which one, I love. Oh, I'm a big sound. That's why I love James Bond. No, it's like, here's one broken salary, here one broken salary. <laughs> they break the salary. <laughs> 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 yeah. Though I also want to give a big shout out and, and pay homage to like early Thai horror movies. Oh. I haven't seen much recent Thai horror movies, but the early Thai horror movies were early like, like 2004 right. to 2008. Shutter? Yeah, that, that phobia, period. Phobia, phobia. Yes, phobia. yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Really good. Um, Even some of like the old... Have you seen uh, Nang Nang? I was just the about, original one. Yeah. Then yeah. the my the my favorite scene is the skull. La. It hit the skull. I to, re- I kind of remember. To, to remove the curse. Then, yes. then the monks like doing the praying thing. Mm. Like, ding, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Then really every good. time they hit, then it's like, then yeah. it's like yeah. Really, really good. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Though I, I would say right now, South Korean horror is mm. getting it, that to me, that's like the rising trend. South Korea is doing horror really really well even in the TV series like even some of the zombie TV series are really good as well Kingdom yeah, Kingdom oh my god I, I still, have you seen the I, I'm still waiting for season 3 have you seen the horror uh, the, mo- the, the movie the movie yes. version? I like the I movie version it. I love the movie version everything they do but yeah. I'm still waiting for season 3 what's the yeah. last South Korean horror one that you saw that? Mm. Uh, probably that one actually okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, Kingdom. Uh, Kingdom, Kingdom. Yeah, because that was on Netflix not quite really, recently. Not really zombie. La. Eh, not really horror. La. Yeah. I mean, zombie is a different genre. A genre. different style. But the, the Howling would probably be mm. uh, one of the more more prominent ones I remember. Yeah. 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 So, very, but very but uh, uh, do you like 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 uh, Shiga is actually asking Shiga Shiga? No, she <laughs> girl. She <laughs> underscore girl. Okay. Uh, Pengabdi Satan. Have you seen this film? I think I've heard of it. I might not have seen it. Hmm. Yeah. I, I think I definitely heard of it. Yeah. 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 I, I, I do like some uh, Indonesian horror. Oh. Uh, uh, the the Mal- director. La. Is, is it the director who does a lot of go on? Oh, I, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't have the name. Yeah. It, it's actually the whole um, production house. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's correct. Because I actually know, I actually was supposed to go to a the Pavali party mm. because they are actually uh, Indian Indonesians that have uh, that own the 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 studio that does uh, that particular Indonesian horror and I think that the biggest ones to do Indonesian horror are supposed to attend a Deep Pavali party to meet them bloody hell but I decided to go see a friend <laughs> how good is this friend uh, yeah. yeah I mean I was like hey I'm in town only for like two days at a time so sorry for the mispronunciation yeah. uh, Shi Jiro Shijiro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, 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 I think it can be a podcast on yours. On, because the horror world is big. Huge. Yeah. Uh, for I, I guess for your side, it's more Korean and a little, a, a, a bit of westernized yeah. horror. La. For me, it's uh, Asian. Mm-hmm. I think I, I watch most uh, Japanese horror. Uh, most Thai horror, uh, most Chinese horror, uh, a bit of Korean. Because some of the Korean stuff a bit, 
I don't know. I too big, a bit too gore for me. Uh. Mm. I, I don't like it when it's over overly gore. I think it takes away from the fear. Yeah. It's just disgusting. Uh. Yeah. Um, uh, Malay horror, I tried a bit, but some of it is a bit too old for me. Mm. <laughs> Very slow. The build up, the build up is damn slow. My my issue with Malay horror <coughs> is that a lot of them want to inject comedy within it. Oh, Chinese also. Mm. And uh, to me, Chinese that also. takes me away. No, the it moment immersion. the moment the comedy too much, right? I stop. Yeah. It's all I just watch it as a comedy film. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? You don't take it too seriously. Yeah. You don't immerse. Yeah. But for me, I like the the John Carpenter style of horror. I think that one is mm. like classical. Yeah. Like mm. just horror. Yeah, just mm. like good old horror. There's, there's no like prefix with like horror comedy, cerebral horror. Yeah, like Evil Dead, that kind yeah. of thing. Mm. Um, Evil Dead's gory too. Evil's very gory. Yeah, but Evil no, Dead's like um, it, not it's gory for comedic effect. Yes. Yeah. I think what he he's uh, What I'm is saying like, is like just like, you know like Red, like Wretch, yes, the show. Yes, it's yes. like it's gore. Like, yeah. I don't need to see this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is over, that's re- that's just gore. Yeah, pretty this much. Is that's just gore. gore. Like, yeah. like, like almost like snuff ready. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you're not a fan of though, Saw? I actually la. did like Wretch. I, I like Saw. Like, I like, like Saw, but I like, I like Saw. It's quite a bit of gore in that one, isn't it? Yeah, but Plus, like Saw is kind of like the tension. No, but you, mm, yeah, the yeah. tension is really good. But like, if you think about it, it's kind of like black humor. It's really messed up, ah. Like, like he the way he play with his victims, right? Is like mm. he play on his characters. It's like after mm. you do certain things, like cut off your leg, right? There's something to do with the leg, right? mm. He did something with that leg, so that's why he's doing it to punish him. Because yeah, he does yeah, something. Yeah, with yeah. The it's story, almost right? like a karma thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He, he's, there's always like a higher purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I do also want to say, um, American Horror Story, at least for the first few seasons. Mm. So American so- Horror Story one, which is like the house, um, I think Covent. Um, some of the early ones was to me one of the best like horror storytelling series mm. I love it the, some of the later ones when it became a little bit too political I didn't really like it but the, the early hybrids ones, are, when they start hybrid the, the hybrid kind of genre right, is mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, if it's not trying done, to explore if, many different if styles. it's not done well it, it won't, yeah, it won't it's, fly it's, yeah it's a miss but the early American Horror Story um, yeah I remember Seriously, watching it. Wow, fantastic. So uh, good. I tried to get into the... What's that horror show? The 90s one. 1984? No. It, 90s. Um, 90s? The two characters. They, then they go and investigate. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Some people, was it from the 90s or was it set in the 90s? I don't know if it's from the 90s. I forgot already. Mark and Scully, is it? Oh, X-Files. X-Files. Yeah. X-Files. I tried to get into it. I went... Two, three seasons. I mm. thought it was just weird. Uh. Yeah, because it's not, I mean, it's not horror. Yeah, horror. it's more sci fi. Yeah, it's no. more sci fi. Than... But there were horror elements. elements. There, yeah, were, yeah, there, there, there were some, no, there's there straight up ghosts in the, in the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. yeah but like, it, it just don't. But the anchor, the anchor thing for X Files is more the UFO mm. yeah, 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 yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like, so. the, the, the weird people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no. mm. Okay, so. um WSA is asking question for the collector. Do you think there is truth behind superstitions? If yes, what are those that you believe in? Ooh. Mm, superstition, huh? Um, I mean, I, I'm assuming you're talking about like, you know, don't step on a crack, break, break your mother's back, or kind of like if you spill salt, you need to throw some over your shoulder. Mm. Uh, yeah, it, I don't know if you know that. If you spill salt, you need to throw salt over your shoulder. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I do believe in. But it's a very American. I don't do that. Okay, I, I, I spill. Know, I spill. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. It's a very American thing. I'm not gonna waste even more salt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never understood very Chinese like, of you. <laughs> I never understood yes. it's like when you spill the salt, do you throw not the spilled most, salt, not the new spilled salt, salt, new salt, new salt, new salt. Okay, new salt. Yeah. I see. So, so you do that. I don't do that. Yeah, I don't do that. Mm. But I do believe that you know, those kind of things have some weight. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I do believe in luck a lot. So especially superstition. That's got to do with bad luck mm. you know like you won't walk under a ladder yeah under ladder open umbrella when uh, in a sheltered area do you wear red underwear I, I do have red underwear no no for game nights you know if you go for oh I said like as yeah. in yeah. yeah so my team will win no yeah. no no, no. I, that I do not believe okay yeah more it's like luck for myself as oh. in, you know I, I do believe in when I cheers I need to look in somebody's eye you know but that's for a different reason uh, oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So no superstition yet. Uh, yes, but not like horror superstition. Mm. I don't know many actually. Are there many horror superstition? Like, oh, a... like like uh, ghost man don't like 
step on the yeah. uh, candles or don't step on like mm. the burnt mm. uh, even if you go to like a hotel lock on the door I, I do actually I do all those things yes mm. yeah do you uh, do you do the 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 whole like uh, flushing the toilet in the hotel what is that so they say you know to let the spirits know that you are using the hotel yeah you need to flush the toilet so you knock on the door first that's After one that, step. Uh, one step. There's step a one. few steps. Oh, damn, I've been missing. Then you steps. put your book. You put your bags on uh, unused beds that you don't use, uh, so that to let the spirit know you cannot sleep here. You cannot uh, sleep beside me. This is my stuff. Oh, uh, then okay. you put um, your your slippers right or your shoes right. You put one up, one down. In, in Chinese mythology, it means uh, winning. Means that you good luck. So you right. protect you. It's like a protection. Okay. A lot uh, There's a lot uh, There's okay. like countless. To, right. to 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 yeah. blast the place. Yeah, yeah. Uh don't don't put a mirror in front of your bed. If not, ah, your yes. soul might come out and go into the mirror and then you're lost mm-hmm. in the mirror dimension. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that kind of thing. Lah. But the 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 main one I think a lot of people follow is don't open umbrella yeah. in a room. Because umbrella can trap spirits inside. It can shield the spirits inside. So an umbrella, they, that's why they say don't pick up umbrellas that's left outside. Yes. Usually there's a spirit mm. inside. Yeah. Someone yeah, yeah, put yeah, a spirit yeah. inside. They buang. I also, especially red ones. Also, I don't believe. I, I also believe in uh, money. Sometimes, like, you find big notes on the floor. They also don't pick up. Yeah. Right. Because it's like a trap. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I tried to pick up two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> My sister stopped me. I was yeah. being cheap. Like, two, that two dollars. That, that was many years ago when I was a teenager and I was poor as hell. Mm. So I saw that we were jogging. Me and my sister were jogging at Bedok Reservoir. Mm. We were jogging. Also very known for no yeah, exactly yeah. That, that that's why I said the context like yeah. jogging at Bedok Reservoir, which is a place that known where people like to go there and end their life. Yes. So I saw it two dollars. I think it was the seven month. I think I, I if I remember. Then I wanted to go. I it's, it's, hey, two dollars, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. slapped my hand. Hey, you sell uh, yeah. Bedok Reservoir. Eh. And then yeah. it's like, oh okay. Yeah, oh. Yeah. <laughs> then I, I stopped off. So, so yeah. you, you won't take? I won't take. Okay, how much would you make? $50, Is... I think. <laughs> <laughs> I Hang knew on. it. Hang on. I knew he was going to say that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. You're willing to get haunted. Yeah, it's worth 50 bucks. <laughs> 50 bucks. <laughs> You're damn cheap, ah. Okay. Here's no, where not... I stand. $2, I don't take. If it's a no, f- no, that's fair. If it's a $500, I'll take. Reason number one is yeah. because $500 are no are special production uh. I don't even know we make five hundred dollar note. We do. We have. So really, it's a rare production thing. Oh. They stopped already. It, it, it's no longer in production. Right. So there's a five hundred dollar note out there somewhere. Why the hell would it be on the floor and Bedok Reservoir? Exactly. <laughs> if it's there, I think ah. If anything, that sounds even more suspicious. Exactly. <laughs> That's like, oh, there must be something really horrible right here. Special $500 yeah. note. Okay, there's an Ang Pao that writes $500 oh, inside no. actually a $500 note. You might as well write trap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what sort of thing. Okay, so, so like, uh, there's a superstition mm. and I, I, it's still being practiced. Uh, and it was depicted in uh, Go Show before. So, so uh, back in the olden days, uh, in Chinese mythology, if someone dies a bachelor or bachelorette, so she's she's she, she's single, lah. Yeah. Then uh, the belief is 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 really some bullshit about like how you must continue the hierarchy even in death. Okay. Uh, if you are dead and you don't have a husband Off- or a wife, yeah. no, no husband or wife. Oh, okay. You cannot join your uh, family's ancestral tablet because in the Chinese, when you pray to the deceased, you can join the ancestral tablet. So the name of the deceased you can join. You can be with your dead relatives, lah. Then the, the ancestral tablet is usually hosted in the family's home, lah. So they will pray offerings. But if you're single, you cannot join. You don't hmm. have the rights to join. Wow. So <laughs> what the elder folks have, uh, they they will do is they will do a marriage in death. Wow. So uh uh the deceased will marry a living person. Wow. Like it's just for that formality so that she he or she can join the ancestral tablet. It's extreme. But they need to go ROM or not? No, no, no. So <laughs> it's it's really messed up. Here's where the here's where it starts, right? So the 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 deceased usually they are they they they, they die young la. That's why they are still bachelor or bachelorettes. Yeah. So the, the parents will actually prepare Ang Pao with the deceased hair. Oh, wow. Inside the ang bao and put a whole bunch of money. People still practice this today? 
uh, in certain parts of China and I think some parts of Taiwan also. So they put it inside. I think Singapore, Malaysia also might have put it inside. Ah, uh, uh, with like maybe a go or bangle that 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 was from the deceased and mm. put it, throw it somewhere in the park. Oh. And for somebody they, to find, they will lay wait ambush. They wait inside the behind the bush or something. Like it's really extreme. It has been covered in the news before. Then if you're the one fella to go and take, the moment you take ah, uh, that's it. Apparently your fate is sealed with that person, that disease. Mm. And then you need to go through the 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 thing. If not, you damn sway. Yeah. yeah so yeah. so apparently marrying to the dead it brings you some. You still can marry the living, but it brings you some luck, lah. Then your your fates are intertwined or some shit, lah. Then they will go through with the whole thing. Then the dead person's uh bought photo that they will bring out. Then they pray. Then it's like a oh, marriage, I, I've also heard. I actually heard this story that that uh the dead becomes jealous after the person who's living actually tries to have a relationship. And I think that one is up to your how you discuss yeah. with the your, your deceased spouse. Yeah. You must yeah. set the spiritual prenup first. <laughs> and apparently they pay you, no? Okay. The, the, the deceased family, the family will pay, you, yeah, pay yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So it was depicted in quite a few films. Even in the Singapore one also was depicted. Mm, mm. There was a Singaporean film was depicted, horror film also depicted that. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, it's morally is messed up. Yeah. But at the same time, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh. The ancient customs is there uh, for a reason. So all, all that, I mean, the, the, the point of it is, is I guess it's sweet because you want to put them in an ancestral tablet, right? Yeah. But to bring up another person who's yeah, probably like innocent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's entrapment, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a form of entrapment, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you have you heard of that? The length no, ago. The, 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 for you, okay, I don't know whether there's uh, across the board Eurasian thing or not, mm. but like, I had an uncle who, who when he passed away, he was single. Um, and the custom we had at his wake was that we were drinking wine. Mm. Uh, and the reason for that is it's the wine that we never got to drink at his wedding because he never got married. Oh. Bachelor. Yeah. Mm. I just think somebody wanted to drink wine at the wedding. <laughs> at, the, at, the, at the wake. <laughs> yeah. And then they reverse engineered a reason. Genius. <laughs> but I, I do like I do like the story behind that. But uh. yeah, that's the that's the closest we have. There's no there's no entrapping people to <laughs> marry my single dead <clears throat> uncle. Yeah, that, there's there's a, re, a there's seriously a lot of uh as even as I grow older and older, like there's more of the culture and like mm. the the ancient customs that is passed down. Uh, I mean, the Chinese, the, we've been around for like thousands of years. So yeah. the customs is insane. Like there's so much. And and I always get it from my, my family. Even my, my, my late grandma, she would tell me like, hey, you know, uh, we already give you like the abridged version. It's like, is your life damn good. It's like, it doesn't feel like the abridged version. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel like it. There's, there seems to be so many things, but it's, I guess it's yeah. there. Uh, yeah. But there's a lot of customs that you guys do. Many, many things. I mean, really I don't I practice, yeah, yeah, but, but, it's... but I, it's good to know because mm. I, I, I'm I, in, you know, horror, right? Then you're in this thing, this supernatural, you want to know like, mm. what, what what do they do? But there is an obsession of like olden times with afterlife. As yeah. in like, it, it's getting less and less common nowadays. Like we younger folks, sorry, uh, <laughs> you know, don't really discuss, you know, the afterlife, the the you know limbo and all that. Yeah, yeah. You we keep, stopped having those conversations. You keep talking because you're fired after the next <laughs> sentence. Right. So it's it's really an older yeah. thing, and it's gonna go away because yeah. we don't talk no, about I, it I, anymore. Like, I I I think it's good that some of it go away. Like for example, like if in olden days, if you're a rich man with five concubines and one main wife, yeah, if you die before them, they have to be buried with you. Huh? In ancient China. Wow. Well, you kill them as well. You bury them alive. Alive? Oh, wow. Yeah. Can't, that, can't that, go that, killing I, them. I, I'm, I'm talking about like thousands of yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was the thing. Wow. You bury them. That's why you see certain uh, certain tombstones, the ancient tombstone, very big one. Mm. Can put whole family. Yeah. Because the master of the family die, right? Then they all oh, die. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so it's really messed up. That's, uh. insane. that's, that, that's insane. Uh. On that one. Then, then, <laughs> then, then you also have the practice of grave robbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So because all the wealthy people, they yeah, usually... Yeah, they die with the jewelry. Yeah, they are early yeah, percent. Yeah. Then the, the grave robbers, they like, I don't believe. Uh. Then I go and dig <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Some of those things definitely uh, shouldn't exist today. 
Okay, Shi Jiro is asking when what what do we think about P Mark? Oh, P Mark the movie. Yeah, I, it was a while since I watched. That was like an early yeah. early movie. I I remember liking it. I'm mm. sure. I yeah. thought it was uh it was it's quite sweet, no? It's in like it's a sweet thing, lah. Yeah, la. it's a sweet thing, lah. Yeah, I the I think looks great. It's very tragic. You, you mm. know about P Mark, right? I've heard about it. Yeah. 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 So P Mark is about uh is about it's an ancient tale. It's like it's almost like a fairy tale in Thailand, <clears throat> according to my mom. So it's about this guy who, <clears throat> who went to war in ancient Thailand, and mm. then he served his country, lah. Then he came back. He didn't realize the wife died already, mm. but to him, the wife is alive. But everybody keep telling him, your wife died already. Yeah. Then he, he was mad. Like, like, yeah. no, 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 no. My wife at home. <clears throat> then, yeah, turns out the wife was a spirit la, that was trying to take care of him. La, then, uh. And his child. La, but uh. the child also dead. La, yeah. So but she died pregnant, no? Yeah. So, 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 yeah so, so it's a very tragic, tragic tale of like belonging and love. La. So uh, I think it's a classic um classic horror movie i don't think it's scary i think it's more mm. sad than anything else yeah because i think what happened was that he f- realized that the wife was dead he became a monk in the end uh, yeah. but she tried to like she tried take to him keep with, him yeah, no no he him. didn't kill him he, yeah, she tried him. to yeah. keep him then he was telling she was telling all the monks you stay out of your own business mm. but the monks were like no la, like the there's a plane for the living and the correct, dead correct, la. you correct. shouldn't be here yeah yeah so in the end, the 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 husband became a monk to seek more, uh, seek more good karma for her lah. Mm. Uh, yeah, good story, definitely good story. So Shijiro is also saying that there's a movie, Japanese movie called Kwai Dan. Mm. Kwai Dan, nineteen sixty four. Let me just... not to be confused with Kwai Gon Jin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horror film actually. All right. It's, it's a Japanese horror anthology directed by Masaki Kobayashi. From okay. 1964. Wow. It's based on a collection of folk tales called Kwaidan Stories and Studies of Strange Things. Lovely. Thank you for that yeah, uh, yeah, recommendation. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it. Yeah, it piqued my interest. Yeah. You went into Cannes, bro. <laughs> went into what? In the Cannes Film Festival in the oh, 1960s. In Cannes. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So okay. the Cannes Film Festival have been around since the 1960s. Yes. Yeah, that's why I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, Film wow. has been around for years. I know, but the Cannes Film Festival yeah. specifically. Yeah. Um, so Chijiro is saying that there is a superstition that if you go out of, a, of your house, right, to work or someplace that we don't go exact time as the clock. For example, you don't go at 9 a.m. shot, you go five minutes before and after. Mm-hmm. If you do, right, bad things will happen. If you go exactly uh, or five minutes or five minutes before enough. exactly to the clock, uh, I guess. Right, so right, like right, if right, you right. say, Oh, I'm gonna go out. Because somebody night. expected you. Something like I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So mm. it pays to be late. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I so bet you boss. did not expect that, my clock. <laughs> it's like, I late, yeah. My friend also didn't expect me. I late. Maybe that's why all the people late, uh, because they scale yeah. goes. <laughs> Good excuse. That's that's gonna be my excuse from now on. Yeah. So shit excuse me. <laughs> oh, what a horror. Uh, so you know, it's it's a job hazard. <laughs> okay. Yes. So moving on, there's this question that we ask. Oh, I guess. Mm. I, I, he already know lah. He already know what we're gonna ask. What? Just ask him anyway. Yeah lah. La. No. I don't know. Cause you got you go watch the I don't lie. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what scares you the most? Oh wow. Can be anything. Yeah. Losing the people I love. No, then, no, no. Like is anything, eh? Yeah. Like this is your worst, worst fear. I like yeah, how you like. Are. No, no, no. no, no, no. Losing the people you no, love. Not that scary. Yeah, yeah. your girlfriend dying. <laughs> no, I mean, it is scary, but like I mean, like scares you the most. Like instant one, eh? Straight away you like. Just... No, but as is like you talking about like uh, fear. a fear response mm. kind of scared, mm. right? <laughs> what scares me the most? I mean. Uh, yeah, a fear response. But to be fair, we've also had guests go life. <laughs> so, you know. Should we just say life, right? Yeah. Uh, I do... I actually did this purposely just to scare myself. But swimming at night. Why? Uh, yeah. Why? Because I always feel that uh, I go under the water. Somebody's going to dra- keep keep me under yeah. the water, drag me down. I don't know why I did that. But I remember I was in Bali. We got a villa. And we were swimming out, Um, you know, Mm. As and I in the swimming pool, and th- that was the only thing in my head. Every time I got up from the water, I pictured like an evil ghost. Yeah, yeah. You I, know, I, but I don't know why. It, it does scare me though. It's definitely a a, a very uh, adrenaline 
uh, building session. Are you, okay, night. so is the fear when you come out of the water, you both. see something? Or... Both. Ah, okay. Come out and then see something or I'm underneath and I'm never... So that, that's like a fear response. Like, yeah. That you that, have. that scares me. So, can you do bathtubs? I can do bathtubs. Bathtubs. Because so. you... No. no <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> bathtub, you turn on the light. Right? Oh, no, okay, okay. No, no, no. It's no, like no. when you... when You you know like when you wash your head. Uh, you oh, out. I purposely... I purposely want to picture like... No, yeah, exactly. Ghosts. Yeah. You know like horror films, right? Then wherever yeah. they wash the soap, yeah, and then yeah, they would yeah. yeah, You know? Yeah. Or like you dip your head inside the bathtub, then yeah. you see some face come on, then you like... I purposely actually imagined that. Hey, you sick, eh, you. <laughs> I mean, but it never happened, so I get disappointed. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry that happens. Yeah. Okay, next time I bring you to a haunted uh, pool. Bathtub. Then you go, you go <laughs> swim in the haunted pool. <laughs> then we'll see what happens later. He start floating. Eh? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Do you actually know a haunted pool? Yeah. Oh. Where? I feel. Uh, the first one is the Golden Mile Complex one. Right. It's drained already. I didn't even know there was a pool in Golden Mile Complex. Like, yeah, you never <laughs> even seen it. It's creepy on. Yeah. Um, there's one at the... Uh, I, I, later I tell you where the condo is. Uh. Mm. It's painted red. It's mm. very haunted. Oh, wait. What am I talking about? Yeah, we've we've actually told stories about haunted pools before. Yeah. 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 You float I, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, is yeah. this condo in the east? No, it's not in the east. No, it's not in the east. West. I can't remember where we the where the gondola. Later, I tell you later. You cannot yeah. can't remember. Later, grassu. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Uh. Oh, hi, Gretchets. Gretchets saying just managed to catch this. Love you guys, and it's awesome to listen to you all together. Thank, thank you, you, collector, for coming on the show. Love y'all. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Uh. Yeah. It's almost three hours that we've been live. Holy yeah. cow! It's, yeah. it's really really five minutes to three it's hours. Really fun. Guys, uh, let us know if you want the collector to show up more on uh, non Ghost Maps content. Yeah. So, like Dead Air, Dead Aim. Uh, Dead Aim is actually quite, uh, it's the hardest videos to make. <laughs> yes. We need to put green screen, into, then, then we need to watch. But if you want to see the collector playing horror games mm. on Dead Aim, let us know. Uh, mm. We'll make it happen. Or FIFA. No lah. <laughs> they are not scary. Dude, not Brandon. Scary, I'm kidding. They are not scary. I'm kidding. <laughs> no lah. I think you will get scary. He's like, hey, the ball. And then you say, no, this, the scary part is how much I'll trash you guys. <laughs> no, the scary part is how, okay. how, how, how angry you will get. He start getting angry. Hey, give me the yellow card. How <laughs> yeah. do you find out, right? After all this time, right? I'm like some kind of like prodigy when it comes to really FIFA good. games specifically. Uh, and then I trash you. The last the game Singaporean you played team. was Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> 2. Okay. And that was not even the last game I played. The last game I played was Earthworm Jim. All right. All right. From, I believe, 1994. Didn't you play Ghost Law? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. Uh, so, well, like, well, he no, played Ghost Law. You played Ghost Law. So I, he has not played any game on. Yeah, because even Resident Evil also, you were playing. So you, yeah. never, you just watched him, no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and made terrible jokes. <laughs> um, we, we, I can't remember whether we've told people yet that at some point I will be. What the what the game is la, but at some point I will be playing a game la. Okay la, I can say la, the game is the mortician game la. Yeah. Oh yeah 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 yeah. 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 Mm, yeah. I, that, that, that's I, I don't know it's why. Game. Yeah, I don't know why. I just thought to myself, yeah yeah, yeah okay, let's just jump. Is it okay, a VR first. mode? Then, no. Then. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, honestly, <laughs> look, I don't even want to play the game. He said he wanted to play yeah, one. Yeah, I yeah, will yeah, just yeah. sit there and watch hey, him play. Scary as hell. Oh yeah yeah, I know. Yeah. But bear in mind also. Already as it is, I'm not exactly a gamer. Yeah. You ask me to play a VR mode. Yeah. Do you really want the whole video to be me dying within like three <laughs> seconds? All the time. It'll be fun. It'll be a uh, it, it will be la, but it will not be horror content. I'll just be sad <laughs> after a while. I actually just thought of another movie. I don't know why. It just popped up in my head uh, that I love so much. Right. Jane Doe. Oh, I yeah. love... The autopsy of Jane Doe. Yes. Oh, I love it. It's, it's I really good. I love Jane Doe. It's so messed up, right? It's so messed up. I actually love those kind of uh, movies as well. It's like a... It's like a there's a... There's a... Just a weird air about it. Uh. It's just very strange. Like, how did this happen, right? Yeah. And then they just... It's just a body just shows up. Yeah. And mm, the body of autopsy of Jane Doe. Yeah. And apparently, it's like, you know, an old spirit that, oh. you know, kept dying and living. You could never kill... Something like that, but wow, that was done so well, and it's so like it. It's a low but low budget because it's like two locations, hmm. and it's wow, done so well. I really hmm. love. I don't know. It just came up in my head again. Well, we were talking I, about I, the mo- mo- mortuary. Yeah, yeah. Mortician? What's the Mortician. Mortician's assistant, yeah. right? Something like that. Yeah, 
Yeah. Mm, yeah. Good movie. Yeah. So one last one, two last comment. WSA, yes, more collector appearances. Yes, we will try to make it happen. We'll do. <laughs> Next time we'll show both his hands, maybe one of his feet. <laughs> 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 hey, she, what kind of content are we making? <laughs> <laughs> Only feet. <laughs> <laughs> Shijiro is saying, thank you for making the podcast. We need more collector appearances and go out and explore to bring more awesome haunting stories. Yes. Uh -huh. right. Yeah, All we'll right. try to make it happen. Okay, so we shall do the wrap up now. Mm. All right. Do you, you, you do it now. You do it. Okay. I'll do it or he does it? No, you do it. I'll lah. do it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Since we got him here, make him do it. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> hey, we pay you a poker green tea, all right? Um... Ghost Maps is currently on a break and will return on 22nd February. New episodes will go online every second and fourth Thursday of the month. New episodes of Dead Air go online every 13th of the month. You can find both shows wherever you get your podcasts. Now, to make sure you never miss an episode of either, subscribe now and follow us on social media at Hantu. That's one word, W-E-A-R-E-H-A-N-T-U. If you would like to share your own stories that could inspire future episodes of Ghost Maps, uh, what was the name? Bellalicious? Yeah. Bellalicious. Just uh, this one's for you and everybody else, but specifically for you because you've got stories. Um, you can reach us through the contact form on hantu.sg or message us directly through Facebook and Instagram. You can also be one of our supporters on Patreon at patreon.com slash weahantu. Ready? One, two, two three. three. And, and remember, remember just, just because, because they're stories, stories it doesn't, doesn't mean they're, they're not true. true. Goodbye, guys. Good, Good night, night, everyone. Thanks, collector. Wave to the camera. Bye, wave. <laughs> Smile and wave, guys. boys. Smile and wave. <laughs>